Got a BBC interview. Huh? You got BBC. a BBC interview. Not BBC. I said BBC, fool. Uh, it sounded like you said BBC. I'm going to be honest. But I said BBC. BBC. <laughs> you got it on his mind. You just said it too fast. I love the comments saying that Rico Strong is like AD. Or, <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was AD. I mean. You guys kind of do look alike. To be, to be like. You know, yeah, well, you would have had off to yeah. be to be compared to a porn star is not not the worst thing. Mm. Yeah. But you're you're not gonna be able to live up to oh. the expectation On that the he contrary, sets. I think I, I, I perform very great. <laughs> you might perform great. I'm just saying the hardware is a little different. How Whoa. do you know? Yo, yeah. What the I fuck? mean, he's legendary, realistically, and and you have yet to reveal the goods. So I'm gonna assume <laughs> I'm gonna assume that you you're gotta, closer to average, it, bro. You, you have, have to, to maintain the, the mystery. That is good because I don't want to see your dingling. Yeah, you a damn lie. Yeah, I wouldn't show want, you anyway. Why do you want the homie to re, to reveal his? Bro, goods? he always he tells everybody. Bro, I want him to do porn. It's like when you're around, like you have that one homie who's really into cars. And then when he's in your car, he's all like, oh, so that's how you drive this thing, huh? Like, oh, damn, you you drive like that? That's how you compare. Yeah, like I'm like porn? porn guy, so I can't help but like kind of wonder what my boys that would be capable bro. of. <laughs> this is terrible, man. Yeah, man. What the hell? That's not what this podcast is about, though. I'm not trying to get you guys to do Yeah, that's, that's what they told me yesterday on my Twitch. What? That you was a, a Satanist. Yeah. And that you're pushing, what? you're pushing porn on the community. Mm. That sounds like a different accusation, though, because I thought that I was part of the Illuminati. I feel like being a Look, Satanist porn it's, guy is kind of different. It started off. It started off. Surviving twenty two. It started off. It was like, AD, you're afraid to watch the video to know the truth about Adam. <laughs> what? And I was Who's like, the video. Oh, bro, they they just kept spamming it, and I was like, what there's are a YouTube talking video about? that's basically saying that I'm part of the Illuminati, mm -hmm. and that that explains how I got into this position uh, as a as a youtuber when did this come out i don't know a couple weeks ago i think I and mean, it's not like that big i was like I'm thirty thousand views bro, I'm, I'm watching it. Watch it i'm watching it and then i'm like okay this is this was a a waste of time right. they're like no they got ad too he's part of it now too <laughs> when like, i watched it i was kind of like oh so this was, whole is right, this whole bad. channel kind of like a joke channel because it didn't feel like they were really like trying to put forward an argument that anyone would take serious it felt like it was more just like mm. oh well, what about this this seems a little per particular like what about this well what about it was, it was kind of like i felt like it seemed like a joke but i feel like maybe some people take it serious and they actually think i'm illuminati they told me your dad was a fed and they said nothing about your dad being a fed my dad was not and I was a, like, a fed. I was like, he, he why was would his dad have to be pardoned if he was a federal agent my dad was in prison no for a year I've, if I he was like a fed, wouldn't that have kept him out of prison? Did you cry when your dad went to prison? <laughs> How old were you? It was a tough time. What's your for dad's the name? Phil. Philly. <laughs> How old were you? <laughs> I was like twelve. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You were a little kid. You had to have like. Did you like sad. rebel at your mom? You're not my fucking dad, mom. What's your mom's name? Man. Get the fuck. <laughs> go to your fucking room, man. That's what you was doing? I did not send my mom to her room. She sent me to my room. I was 12. She was still bossing oh, me around. You know how y'all be. You're not going to fucking no. tell me what to do, Ann. No, it was, it was a weird time. Mr. Graham Mason, I don't want no more of this anal cut in my house. The go to your fucking room, man. The and fact I tell you, that people I kill your though, fucking guts, mom. People think that me having a dad who worked in local politics... Mm means that clearly I was involved in some sort of secretive satanic cabal. They said I don't get how that correlates to each other at all. It was like a, it, it, it was a volunteer. So let's say that. He got pardoned, didn't he? He got pardoned many years later, yeah. But like, can I read this? This is a, the statement that the dude that this dude wrote about me on his oh, YouTube shit. community page. Okay. This is one of the main people leading, the community. leading the charge here. Interesting to find out that Adam 22's father was convicted and imprisoned for voter fraud, which is not true. It was mail fraud, which is very mm. different than voter fraud, mm. and then pardoned by Bill Clinton. He sure did have a great understanding of how to set up and grow a complex business quite rapidly. Quote rapidly, actually, is what he wrote. Considering he's just a BMX bike racer, not a racer, and porn guy. Reminds me of the fact that Dale Bilzerian's father stole tens of millions in unpaid taxes and went to federal prison. Then his son popped up claiming he won X millions playing poker and became a phenom of low life activities for young white males while this rap culture trash promotes low life activities for other men. Hmm. Probably just a quinky dink. I'm just raising questions. I'm, I'm just giving you something to think about. They just try He's to going to be it. even more like into it when he see you and Dan together. Ooh. It's oh. another video coming. Oh. 
Boy. Once you get us together. The Satanic Jesus Boy. Jesus Christ. Yeah. The cabal really came together in Vegas last Friday. Bro. Yeah, how was that? Let's just go ahead and dive into it. Well, you don't want to talk yet? about me being Illuminati more? Yeah. Bro. You, you really think I would have read that if we weren't live? <laughs> 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 hey it was crazy because when i was sitting there i was like i said listen so i was like if you saying no jumpers whole agenda is to like push the devil i yeah. was like well then you're saying that i'm in it and t-rail's in it and house phone's in it yeah and i was like they was like you know he tell us the truth but and me, i'm like i got trust god on my hands i think you guys would acknowledge that I don't believe in God, but it's not like I'm telling you that you yeah. can't believe. In, I don't give a fuck what the hell you guys believe. Yeah, I've ne nothing. Our conversations about religion have never been like me trying to get you to convert over to my side. Never. I don't care. Your your religion is like the COVID vaccine. Everybody gets it. <laughs> your Lord and Savior is the COVID vaccine. No, <laughs> it is. I just don't believe in God, and I don't actually think that's even that out of the ordinary. I feel like I mean, like a huge percentage of Americans That's don't I believe in God anymore. That's why I say when you die, you're going to be getting hit from the back by little demons and shit. <laughs> I'm going to be in heaven. I'm going to be like that, Grand Mason. I told him. We both made our choice. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be getting sucked off no, by an no, angel no, named no. Brad. I'm not, I'm not getting sucked <laughs> off in heaven. Big, buff, no, muscular yeah, fucking no, angel no, with no, a no, glistening not, chest. Not, not, not I. Ew. I'm going to be somewhere in the middle. I don't know where I'm going to nah, be. No, you're going to be in hell. You're gonna <laughs> be, <laughs> ketamine users go to hell. No, you're going to, you're going to drug heaven. <laughs> you just you're gonna be on ketamine ah, twenty four hours a Flacco day. Flacco was just Flacco. asking me what ketamine was all oh about. I was God. like, you definitely need to get on it. Dude, you definitely should run in here and just give him a dose. You want you want me to get Flacco high? For Shoot the first him with time? a dart full of ketamine, like fucking uh, what was that movie? When are we gonna stop uh, projecting this? Uh, this you projected yourself. You made a song. But I'm a, the ketamine. A lot of people are pissed off at, at us giving ketamine a bad name. Who? Just people who like have been telling us like, yo, you guys gotta stop giving hospital and ketamine jokes. Like my mom, ketamine saved her life. I heard it's good though, like for what? depression, anxiety, mm. and small doses house phone. <laughs> Yeah, you can't know. shoot not, up a whole needle. <laughs> not nothing to take down. The I elevator. never shot anything in my entire life. Really? That's yeah. the one thing you won't do. That's the one thing I won't do. So bro. you a, you a fucking sniffer, huh? Oh yeah, he's big sniffer. <laughs> big sniffer, up, big bro. sniffer. He's the first person <laughs> I ever saw Windex a table so he could do coke on, off a sanitary environment. Yes, no, that is true. You follow right behind him. Wait, talking about yeah? yeah no, I never. He seen went anybody. first. You went next. <laughs> no, I was doing it off the same table as him. But he, he just like we're, we're fucked up. We get home three, four in the morning, and he goes gets the Windex. He gets the paper towel. You said we got home. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, like your mom was a couple. <laughs> we got home at four. In we're the out partying. <laughs> he comes I mean, back to the crib. We did. We did used to go to his. We house probably had some baddies with us, and he busted out the Windex and cleaned the table so that we theoretically probably some middies like not a really, real not really bad yeah probably some middies but <laughs> real stair girls but he some he was girls, he yeah. was you know concerned like he he was a dude who had probably gotten an infection in his nose from snorting some shit off a table I covered in lint and no shit. I hadn't I was trying to avoid that so that's why I was have cleaning you ever the table off I did get a staph infection inside my nose. Because you don't take fucking baths. Now you're not stinky. I was doing jujitsu like you with your fucking G. <laughs> so I'm rolling around on the ground with some dudes, and all of a sudden, boom, I get a staph infection. But I had been snorting coke the same night that I did jujitsu. Um. So somehow it ends up coming out of my fucking nose. So I'm looking in the mirror and just squeezing uh. out all this goop out of my fucking uh. nose. That's fucking scary. Not fun. Yeah, that's why snorting shit is fucking bad for you. I know dudes who have their whole inside of their nose all fucked up, and they got they got. I know a dude who's still doing coke, and he has to shoot this fucking weird like nasal lubricant into his nose before he does coke. I'm like, bro, that's at ridiculous. a certain point, you, you can't you just, just stop? Just shoot it up, or like eat a pill or something, because you, you can't eat a coke. Stop pill? abusing your nose. Toot it up, little bitch. Boot it up. Yeah, get a coke pill. I feel like you should just like chill out at Ch that point. Yeah, but I mean that, that's what we tell you. And here you are, you're still getting zooted. <laughs> I mean, but like, when the last time you got zooted? Keep it real. He talked about it on fucking I did, I on, did. on disconnected, and there was a meme on one of the pages about the fact that he said it, and nobody says shit. He's like, so the other day I was off the shits, and Blasi and Fury Enablers dot com. They're just sitting there, like, uh huh, uh huh. Okay, like don't even question him. If T Rowe was there, he would have thrown a fit. Yeah, that's a fact. He would have been dancing all over the room. If OG Suicide was there, he would have for sure. Oh, he's coming today. He I was know. here earlier. I don't even know why. He coming. He was he's here just to back. argue with Flacco, and then he left. <laughs> <laughs> on camera, at least, I hope. <laughs> a little. No. like He I, said, He said, no. nephew, he's a snitch. <laughs> yeah. No. OG Suicide's having to explain gangbanging to Flacco. He's like, so 
someone kills your brother, you're going to want to do something. Like, he's having to break it down in the most elementary terms to get Flacco to understand why nobody's eager to get into a fucking truce. Can we talk about how Flacco is just Flacco in love? thought his name was OG Juicide. <laughs> <laughs> He's John, reading the like name. Josh didn't like that, huh? No, but he sees he sees G C U I D E, and he thinks it's suicide. I ain't gonna lie, having him in the office, he's a funny ass character. He's one of a. Guy. It adds to the energy, right? Every day it's so easy to vlog because when I pull my fucking vlog camera out, it's just fucking the Flacco show. By the way, new vlogs dropping daily on Adam Twenty Two YouTube channel. Tap right in. Tap the fuck in. Tap inwardly. You guys want to see any of the? Behind the scenes shenanigans. Drop going those on. kind of comments that are like, "Hey, I'm here from the No Jumper Show." Mm. I love those comments. Well, listen, I was trying to say, bro, Flacco was hyping up AD so <laughs> much today. He said AD's girl is the baddest girl in <laughs> the whole ever country seen in his entire on life. Earth. <laughs> he said, I mean, "I'm six five. He has he problems said, with just taking it to the extreme. I'm he like, can't say AD's a good rapper. He has to say AD's the Drake of the West Coast. He can't say your yeah. girl's pretty. I, I he has mean, to say she's it. the baddest girl like alive. Like the, the best walking. I mean, it's just a little extreme. He said God he crafted just, me differently. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great guy. Man. Look, look, look. <laughs> he was worried about AD not liking him, so he just sucks your fucking dick through your drawers. Over and over oh and my over. God, and bro. Then he go, then he gonna tell my girl, he's gonna say, So what is he like on the honey versus off the honey? <laughs> He'll always ask the question that you don't think that yeah. anybody else would ever ask. But you gotta appreciate it. Yeah. You know? She, she gave him an answer too. She, she, she said, I don't need the honey. She said she don't need Ching don't ching. Need yeah, but you in the part of your relationship where you probably ain't really like using your dick that much anyway, right? Are you what? crazy? You've been together like six months. A year. A year, even worse. What do you mean? Wait, I don't what, use what your dick mean? in. You don't use your dick in a year. I don't know. You got cobwebs on that thing. What I'm does just that out mean? Here assuming that Bro, maybe... sorry, sorry. I don't fuck nineteen times a day <laughs> <laughs> for you got, survival. You know, it's like, it's yeah, because you fucking stopped using the honey. You stopped using the royal honey. You stopped using the rhinos, and now all of a sudden you're letting your dick grow mold. No, no. Adam, it's just an area. That motherfucker get cleaned every night. Really? Yeah. Adam, you get you, under the foreskin and swab it no, out. No, not like that. I ain't got oh. no pullback. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you? You don't got no pullback? I ain't got that rumple skill skin. What the fuck? <laughs> I ain't got I'm no pullback. I'm fucking back. weak. You never heard that before, Adam? You never heard that? You never I heard guess pull I heard back? about the, the turtle out the shell? <laughs> we are all cut. Pull back. I'm cut. You cut? He ain't cut. I'm Bro, not you got cut. a pullback? I got a pullback. Whoa. I'm not cut. He's un. It's Jamaican. It's Jamaican. Big un. <laughs> it's the Jamaican in me, man. The Jamaican man. Damn, so you just got a straight sleeping bag on that thing? <laughs> you rolling around with a fucking sleeping bag, huh? Oh, my God. You got a bean bag on there, huh? What? Now, you know what? I think you got the turtle off the shell? I, I feel like they like tried to snip me or something because it ain't all the way. <laughs> you got half a snip? Yeah, I feel like it ain't, it ain't all the way. I, I, I don't have nothing else to compare it to, so like. You yeah, gotta, you do. You Watch a porno. You got I a mean, parachute dick? No, I'm saying. <laughs> Onlyplugtalk.com. Tune in. You want to see mine? He got yeah. a parachute dick. <laughs> Nigga dick look like there's this shit on Jurassic Park with this shit going. <laughs> You got a loose bag? <laughs> or you got a tight bag? It's a pretty tight bag. Oh, you got a tight bag. Yeah, right, right, yeah. Right. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't like it ain't like just flapping around, you know? No. It's there though. That's disgusting. You got, Why is that disgusting? You got dumbo ears on your shit? Yeah. Do you remember <laughs> I clean it? Do you remember being a kid and seeing an anteater and just being like, oh, no, I've never seen an anteater oh, before. So you didn't see an anteater you and be like, damn, anteater. that's what my dick looks like. No. Oh. You try I'm to telling you, I think, you I'm telling fuck. you, I think I got a half snip. I think they tried to snip me. Ask your mom. I don't got I can look at my dick. I don't gotta ask my mom. It's too late to ask your mom? <laughs> yeah, like what are the odds you that you're gonna remember? ask your mom and then your mom's gonna be like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my you god. You got a half snip. Oh, I thought you I thought y'all pulled <laughs> We just pulled up an anteater. Yeah, okay. For good. the people at home. I thought you pulled up uncircumcised dicks. And I say, hey. Hey. So, oh, no, he uh, was an aardvark. Never mind. Speaking of. I just can't lie. Like, y'all asked me, and I just, the truth just came it's, out. It's okay to be un. But you I know, know but it's also okay to do your thing with my bookie. 162 <laughs> games of ba uh, baseball a season can feel like a grind to watch, but you can put the excitement back into each and every game with my bookie. Run lines, money lines, and props galore. Nobody gives you more opportunities to win than my bookie. Getting started is simple. 
Deposit $300 and play with $200 instantly. Just use promo code NOJUMPER, one word, to claim a MyBookie deposit bonus. Whether you're a diehard fan or a newcomer to the sport, there's never been a better time to join the MyBookie family. Go ahead and sign up today using promo code NOJUMPER to secure your first deposit bonus up to $1,000 with MyBookie. Whatever you put in, they'll meet halfway all the way up to one thousand dollars. Can you meet anything, me halfway? Anytime, anywhere with my bookie. Yes, sir. Promo code no jumper. So yeah, yeah. What have we talked about? Uh, uh, Adam's Illuminati house phone's got a, 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 a baggy dick. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew I shouldn't have said that. Much, much more. No, it's cool. It was, you speak for the the uncirc yeah. crowd. Do you like? Drug your oh dick. Oh my god, here what? <laughs> drug your dick. Do I drug my dick? You sniff some and then let the let just just Yo. Sniff. You ever find some like <laughs> contamination, some kind of infection growing underneath Bro. your dick? What the Because that's what happens. So what do y'all think is going on? No, that's why you're supposed to get sniffed. Listen, so you me won't get and bacteria. Him, the Cirque brothers, we both are cut. Circus so, are delayed, nigga. So we oh, live our Cirque lives looking delayed. at Uncircumcised dicks, we, we try not to think about them, but we know they're out there. Oh, and you can't help yourself. I can't help it. Yeah, but then I know you can't help it. It's a big at part all. of my life, dicks. But then, the, you know, we don't know what it's actually like to have one. We hear through the grapevine that actually there's contaminants that can grow under the bag. But I, I'm not you like never you. never had that. Moldy I'm not you. Dick. <laughs> I'm not you. I take showers every day. I take showers every day as well. Except this weekend. Did, did you really? <laughs> I'm like, did you? Did you really? I've been taking some time off from showering on the weekend. Sometimes I don't but, though. I but don't. you never had some some yellow goop growing under there. Some yellow goop. I hear what about do you it. Think, I hear what about do you it. really? How many think different you? colors of goop have you had come out of you? Just the gonorrhea one. Okay. Which is what color? The worst kind. A little mellow yellow. I don't know. A little mellow yellow. Got a little yellow on there. If it's yellow, let it mellow. If it's brown, we'll flush, flush it, it down. down. That's why you always leave piss in the fucking toilet every time I go behind you. And I'd be looking at it like, You'd be Damn. shitting. I'd be like, that shit oh. looking mad fluorescent. Like, I shouldn't Ugh. leave this here, and then i just leave it. Mad fluorescent? Your pee is looking fluorescent? I don't know what it is with the water here. My fucking pee be looking like ecto-cooler sometimes. What the fuck? Nigga, that's not the water. That's yo dick. Just be looking a little I think electric. you're dying. That's that plug talk shit. I'm just hydrated as a motherfucker. Check me out with this Aquafina. Yeah, you off that plug talk. That's why you pissing out fluorescent shit. Pissing all kinds of things. What are you talking about me? Took a piss in Dan Bilzerian's house. Bro, I never seen that many guns ever. He has a shotgun with a silencer. Why? That's I don't crazy. know. Because you want to be able to blam a nigga in silence? He has a lot of guns that are probably not really like for anything in particular besides just having a good time, right? Do you think he's ever blammed it in? <laughs> I hope not. I feel like we would know. Uh, uh, like a regular person or like a black person? Just a regular person. Okay. So, or a black person? You said a nigga. Oh. I meant just like a male. When I say nigga, I mean male. I know. You, nigga could be universal. Yeah. Be, yeah. But like people, I feel like people concepts. don't understand that. Shut the fuck up. When I was, uh, <laughs> when I was at Dan Bilzerian's house, it was fucking definitely like a, me and Trev got high as fuck after the mm -hmm. interview. And I feel like we both kind of looked at each other and we were like, we are not supposed to be here. Like, we are just regular guys. And we we're in this gumbo. fucking billionaire house, the fucking biggest house I've ever seen. So what, you, you you show up to Vegas, you go straight to Dan's house, and you do the interview. We against... went to the hotel for like four hours, and okay. then we went to Dan's house, and then we Did the interview back. at his house? Yeah. Where did y'all stay this time? MGM. Went back to the park? Uh, it was a different section of it. Signature? I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah Grand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was... How long was the interview? Two hours. Hmm. Did it, you was, get, it was pretty dope. How in depth did you get? Oh, we got in depth. I read his book, so I came really? prepared. I had a lot of you read thoughts his book? on deck. Yeah. Wow. Scale from one to ten. His book? I mean, he's definitely like the main thing that I took from him is that he's just somebody who's kind of seen it all, done it all at this point. You know, a lot of guys like live their whole life thinking that it would be pretty badass to fuck a bunch of girls. And he has just fucked like five billion girls, and he's just kind of over. It. I was gonna say, like, don't you feel like at a certain point you would get over that? I think so. I feel like you like want like the family life, and you would want like, yeah. the, you know, somebody to actually come home to that actually cares about you and all that. He's shit. He's dipping his toe in though. He has a girlfriend now. That's lit. So I don't know if it, but, and he kind of acknowledged like when I was talking about the kid thing that like you know he's at least been like thinking about it. You know, how old is he? He's only a little bit older than me. He's like 43. Oh, really? 
So he doesn't look. He doesn't look bad. He doesn't look that old. Yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> Did you finish Will Smith book yet? That testosterone keeps you looking young. You know. Yeah. He was. Re- There's a part of the interview where he's like borderline, like trying to convince me to get on testosterone. I, you should. Let's do it. Together. I would look dope. It would make the podcast better if you <laughs> if you think that like me being hotter would be making the podcast <laughs> better. I'm test it, you. <laughs> you guys want to all do it at the same time? Yeah. Let's do it. Come on. I'm not doing that. Shit. You're not putting tests. Why not? In your ass. You gotta get a shot in your Why ass. Why do you gotta right? do it in yeah. the ass? That's you just have to. Where you shoot it at? In the Ugh. fat of your butt. Oh, that sucks. I don't want to do that. It don't feel like nothing. You did it before? Yeah. Of course. When I was you never young. heard. You never heard about Adam's uh fucking. He was a bodybuilder. <laughs> 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 no, but I did like three months on testosterone when I was like 21. When I was reeling to lifting weights and shit, just tried it out, and it was fun. I mean, you get fucking. Mega strong. And you never heard mega about Adam aggressive. steroids days? I've told the story way too many times. I heard that shit make you limp. You might not. I was fucking like a demon. All the testosterone? Oh. Shoot me up. Dude. Yes, yeah, go. I don't know if all me testosterone right. is like this, but the shit I was taking was having me. F- I was trying to beat off five times a day. What? When my girl was around, I was trying to fuck her five times a day. I was, I was like in the zone. Nigga, put me on. Yeah, I was like, shoot me up. Get, I'm trying to get in the gym and go crazy. But I want to be around you when you're like that. You think I've been trying to... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. I think you're trying to clap my cheeks. And I'm trying to avoid it. In the metaverse. In the metaverse, in the metaverse even. <laughs> if I see you in the metaverse, hell yeah, you're going to fuck my, <laughs> my meta booty hole. No questions asked. Yo, what the... Yeah, you, you stay with me in the metaverse. Nah, no, Y'all no. too? Go ahead. But, okay, so after... We, we need to start buying property in the metaverse now. After we do the interview with Dan, okay, we're, I'm about ready to be like, yeah, we about to dip, go get some food, whatever. He goes... You guys want to eat dinner? My chef will make you guys food. So all of a sudden, boom, his chef is cooking us food. Like he'll make you whatever you want. Yeah. There was a younger uh, Hispanic woman. And she cooks up this fire chicken and shrimp and rice and all this mm. stuff. Like this whole, Now this is a window into what Dan Bilzerian's eating since you know his mm. body looks better than most guys. So this is what I'm thinking now. All okay. rich people like hibachi. It was uh, fucking topping... Teppanyaki. Yeah, that was like the style that I was preparing okay. for sure. But so then me and Trev smoked like half a blunt, and then we finished eating. We smoked the other half of the blunt, and then we're like, we're really high because we haven't smoked <laughs> all day. All of a sudden, yeah. we're high as fuck. And I fucking look over at Dan's table, and he got all these different fruits. He got brownies. He got like everything, like every snack you could ever want. Like you could have fucking 30 people come over and they could all have some and it would be no big it deal. Be, and it wouldn't even make a dent. And I just start eating the peaches. Like there's just these little oh, peaches. Peaches and good. cream. And I just start eating them. I know. And then I take the whipped cream. No, you didn't. <gasps> you no, did? No. No. <laughs> I was saying. You horny fuck. I was at perfect timing. I start eating the peaches. And I'm like, I eat like three peaches. Let me tell you in a gun. And I'm just like, Trev, <laughs> we got to go. Because, you know, like, I, it's like he asked us to eat dinner. I'm like, if he want, I'm thinking in my head, if he wants us to stay longer, he'll probably say something like what we're going to do next. Mm. You know? So I figured that by that point, we're like, high get as fuck. fuck out, yeah. We should probably just do it. You should have asked him to use a flamethrower. Mm. He That's got, what I He got one? He got one. I didn't ask. One of those, uh, what are those, the boring company ones? The the um the Elon Musk. We one? almost had a fucking movie because okay, he has this one room that has this high ass platform, and then there's like a trampoline that you like jump onto what the from fuck? this platform. It's like twice as tall as this, and you jump onto this trampoline thing, right? And one of them has to be inflated for you to jump onto it, right? And fucking Trev was about to do it, and Dan's just like a girl did that one time when it wasn't inflated, and she broke her leg <laughs> in three places. <laughs> So we oh, came weirdly close to bro. Trev fucking losing his life. Bro, damn. I, went, I could see that he wanted to jump. I went to one of his Halloween parties, bro. One of Dan Bozarian's parties? Yeah, because yeah, he had a at the Ignite house? Whatever, that, that big ass house in the hills. My nigga, okay. from the freeway, you could see the lights, bro. Because he had an Ignite house that was like on the water. So this is no, a different no, this spot. Some, this is okay. something different. Bro, somebody literally parachuted in. To Shut the, the fuck, fuck up. Swear to God, it was bro. probably him. I got the video footage too. It was probably him. That's the crazy How'd part. How'd you get invited to a Dan Bilzerian party in why the Why do you hills? think I can't? You say that about everything. Well, why would you know him? I'm just wondering what your social connection was. I didn't was. know that nigga, but I was in there. Who invited yeah. you? 
Don't worry about it, nigga. <laughs> Sick fuck. Acting <laughs> like he's got something to hide. Yeah. He was flocking and just ended up there. <laughs> <laughs> he was scouting out different houses. He just don't want to admit the truth that he probably paid like five grand to come hang what? out. What? Never. Never. Yeah, no. never. Don't you play know? my boy. I've like never that. paid to go anywhere, Keeper G. You go to the Playboy Mansion, you gotta you gotta pay ten K. I always I always wanted to go to the Playboy Mansion. But, but you have never not even alive no more. Huh? I feel like the whole point is like Hugh Hefner is not even alive no more. No, Fresh Prince did it. I wanted to go. What, you, what in the show? Yeah, they went to the Playboy Mansion. That's crazy. I don't know. Larry that. Flint's gone and fucking Hugh Hefner. So all the first generation porn millionaires besides Who the me fuck is Larry are Flint? gone from the nigga Penthouse. From Hustler. Oh, I thought it was or Hustler. Hustler. Sorry, yeah. Well, I don't know which one now. I don't know that nigga. I think he's from Hustler, right? Yeah, he's a dude who started Hustler back in the day. You see, they were trying. Yeah, to they say were both old. They as made fuck, a movie though. about him. They were trying to say Hugh Hefner was fucking dogs. I believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. You don't believe it? Yeah, I mean, bro. Whatever. At that point, he was so horny, like he was, <laughs> he was just doing whatever. But he had infinite girls around. If he fucked that's the dog, he, he fucked wanna... the dog because he just wanted to fuck a dog. But that's why he didn't want to fuck girls. I mean, have no you more. ever thought about fucking something that wasn't like a woman? Uh, not really. I don't think so. Was not really. I've thought about fucking a pocket pussy, even though I didn't actually, uh, I couldn't get it to work. That's fair. My dick was that's too big still for the like, flashlight. Uh, that's still like woman derivative. It's like intended to emulate yeah. a woman, yeah, right? Exactly. So I feel like that's you still in the green with with that. Yeah, but but no, I've never had a desire to fuck like an orange, like somebody yeah. who hangs out around here. <laughs> Someone who just mysteriously walked in. <laughs> never thought about banging an orange. <laughs> Can you imagine how tempted he must have been by T. Rell at the live show? Oh, oh my, my god. god! You looking like an orange to me, buddy? You looking mean, citrusy? He did have an all orange fit on from head to head Dancing to toe. Dancing around. Yuri, did you have flashbacks? <laughs> Sweet home Alabama. I didn't, like, I didn't like his fit, though. Yuri's trying to avoid <laughs> T-Rell directing his anger at him. Hey, I'm super proud of Yuri, bro. Why? He's taking these streams to a whole, a whole other level. <laughs> this is what, this is an AD tick. This is an underrated tick. What? what? Give it a home I'm super proud. proud of Yuri. Bro, he's doing his thing. Now nah, he's going crazy, bro. I need a super cut of every time you've ever said that. No, bro, because I <laughs> He I must be sliding you some bread on the side. <laughs> no, I'm so I proud swear. of Yuri. Nah, dude, he's fucking killing. Yo. Bro, I watched Yuri like. He spends weeks at a time trapped in his room just drinking and just that rotting away. Yeah. Dedication. Making himself yeah. sick on Twitch. His girl's confiding in Josh <laughs> about how worried she is about his mental health. Jesus. Why would you? Why would you leak that right now? It needs to be leaked. <laughs> hey, We're worried you about. You don't like him. that I give you props, bro. He said he must be paying. Of course he likes it. He's paying you to say it, bro. Why would he pay him to say you that? You think Yuri would? You think literally Yuri is paying me to say I'm proud of him? Yes. You wow. want me to say I'm what? proud this of you? This is a conspiracy theory I can get on board with. Uh, what kind of promotion is that? The truth about AD and Yuri's <laughs> gay relationship. <laughs> No, okay. but no, I like when I first started watching Yuri's YouTube career, mm. like I watched the numbers be like 70 people in there. And I'm like, damn, nigga. Yeah, this is like part of the tick. You always said this for 100 times, like 100 people. This is extended tick. Okay, I, let me give you one, Adam. Cryptic. I'm proud of you for vlogging again. Did there you pay you me? That's a new one. <laughs> now, <laughs> now you have begun a new tick. You like that tick? Well, you at least adapted an old tick to be about me. <laughs> House phone, I like that. You, you don't feed your dick drugs. <laughs> no, but he, he said people. that he, uh, uh, he he's fuck? changed his style up. He's in it. He's not into flashy hats anymore. He's out the game. I mean, this is kind of a flashy. That's a flashy hat. Hey, do, do you it's agree? We talked about moment. this on Gina's interview coming soon. Uh, but Gina, we just uh, we, we said that, that Flacco should rock a, a fucking like uh, a tan dad hat. To stay out of the politics. Let's ask because he's out here like, oh, can I wear a Yankees hat? Can I wear a whatever? Flacco need to stop wearing them goddamn flip flops. Right. Without yeah. socks. Yo, his toenails are like purple. Like, <laughs> they look like pieces of bark that have been rotting for like, years. Hey, yo, yo, hey, hey yo, Bro. hey yo, cool, perfect. Flacco, um, Flacco's cool though. Hey man. yo, cool, Flacco, perfect, is but. I Fl felt bad though. Flacco was like drooling over your lady. It was kind of crazy. I'm like, bro, it's relax, funny. please. It's funny. I like it. It he makes said, me feel good. He says I know how to sex how to have sex good. Hey no. I'm a good sex hire. I feel bad because Flacco got mistaken identity this week. What you yeah, mean? Yeah, so Flacco almost got beat up by some Crips and AD had to. What well, you mean? No, AD <laughs> was spreading the the news to Flacco, telling him like, "Yo, I got some friends. They're trying to kill you." Not like and that. And Flacco was like, "Woo!" No, and he makes no, him get on no, the phone. No, no, okay, no. Okay, you tell the story. No, wait, what so, the fuck? So I get a I get a phone call from the homie, and he like. Man, that nigga poetic Flacco, 
Like, nigga, I'm going to slap the shit out of that nigga. I said, what the fuck did Flacco do? He's a he arguing with people on Clubhouse? I said, he's arguing with people on Clubhouse? Oh, my God. So when I see I want to know what homie I was, was. like, Flacco. You was this the homie that I got into it with, too? No. Oh, okay. But this is like three cribs from L.A. Okay. So I said, Flacco, what the fuck are you doing that you offending these people? He's like, AD, I didn't do anything. I was like, bro, this nigga said your name. Specifically. And then I said, did he DM you? He said, yeah, he DM me. I said, so what the fuck did you do? So I ended up calling him. He was like, oh, my bad, bro. It was a, a false alarm. It's another person named Flacco that was talking the shit. Fuck? That's what I said. How many Flaccos yeah. could there possibly be? That's well, what Flacco, I'm thinking. Flacco made you change his name. Is Flacco a common name? I don't. I didn't Apparently. think so. I never thought so until now. But for the record, so when you thought that they were going to kill Flacco, you were just going to let it happen. You didn't feel like any no, any kind of need to step no, in. No, the reason why I didn't press the issue on him because I told him I was like, bro, he not like that. Like he yeah. do his shit. He from North Dakota. He, ain't, he I don't he know what the fuck he from said. North Dakota? Bro, they was acting like that nigga was <laughs> said the most disrespectful <laughs> shit ever. I was like, that's not. I don't. I don't think he did like that. I meant to be like that. Right. The whole thing though is that Flacco can kind of fly under the radar because it's not like his videos get that many views for the most part. But like, hell no, that's if I was gonna have, hate he, on him, he man. told me how much no, he made on YouTube last no, month. No, he, he has had some very good months on YouTube. But okay, if I had Key Glock in here, mm. I would be a little worried about Flacco. Being really? Here. Why? Because what did he say about Flacco? Key Glock? Has videos with millions of views with him talking about Young Dolph's murder. Well, now uh, he knows. Well, now, yeah, he probably already knew since they have millions of views. Uh, uh. So I would be a little worried about that. You know, he's getting involved in the Memphis politics. He you should really stay out of L.A. politics. He should stay out of live here. He should stay out of any politics. Well, you ain't giving no advice. I'm the one been telling him to chill out. Yeah. Every time I say Flacco, you need to do this. Adam Glenn, turn his head. I mean, the more mixy he gets, the more content there is <laughs> the for us. The more mixy. I literally tell this nigga Adam. I say he gets socked in the back of the head. You ain't gonna give a fuck. He's like, mm. I'll put it on a vlog. I mean, if he gets socked in the head here. We're going to have an issue. No, I'm talking about just in general. He's going to the barber shop. Where's he going? Yeah. If he gets sucked in the head, that is kind of his problem. <laughs> I can see him going to 7 <laughs> Eleven. Yeah, right? No, Lord definitely. Look. I can see him picking up a hoagie midnight, late night hoagie. A hoagie. All of a sudden, you're getting <laughs> smacked while you're getting a hoagie. At Jersey, at Would Jersey you feel Mike's? bad? No, he makes those videos. If anything, we're, <laughs> we're toning him down. We had to tell him, like, hey, say Freddie Gibbs was assaulted today. Don't say. Ooh, that boy Freddie Gibbs got the brakes beat off him today. That's but like he, he was writing captions. He like, don't understand. I said, bro, that's disrespectful. How's it disrespectful? I'm a civilian. I'm like, bro, look what you're saying. Bro, he <laughs> make no bro, sense. His like, his like academics fandom is actually mind blowing. How yeah. like he can just replicate academics as a whole. Like, why are we talking lingo. about him like he's not here? Can you bring him on? No, fuck uh, that. Why not? <laughs> we'll bring him on later, man. No, okay, okay. <laughs> but no, he like he saw uh, Van Lathan in the schedule, and he's just like. Oh my God, Van Lathan! Like he, he's one of like the, those guys. Like he, he's like he's like Ack. He's like one of them guys. <laughs> I'm like standing right there, like all right, cool. Leave me out of it, Flacco. Oh, asshole. fuck. But shout out to my guy Van, man. I, and the girls seem to like him, which I think is good because I was worried that Vashti mm. and Gina might not fuck with him since he's basically like an yeah. offshoot of the of the Fresh and I Fit universe. I wouldn't say that because the last time he was talking, they was over there frowning. They was faces. on his head last yeah, time. Yeah, they was mad. Yeah. I don't. I asked Gina during her interview if she fucked with Flacco, and she said yes. She's been around him more. Yeah, I didn't say that she didn't fuck with him, but they was. They I'm not was, saying she totally co-signed him either. They was on his ass when he was uh when we had he old said, girl up here. Yo. <laughs> Wasting your time. I was oh like, man, but okay. How do you feel about him telling that girl, Edwina? D did I read you the DM that I got? Yeah, Edwina scammed you and Connor or something, or no, or something like that. I, I read it last. She been accused of it. You sent me the message. Oh, I sent it hey. to you. Oh no, um, no, they they used her likeness for some uh, art or artwork for Sicko or some shit like that allegedly. Oh, and a she, picture of her. I guess so. And then she sued him. I guess so. Edwina. Or, or, or she was working on it. You know she confident and cocky because her fucking Instagram bio says South Africa's baddest. I mean, you claiming to be the baddest in a whole southern hemisphere. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. Southern percentage of the a homies, whole goddamn continent. I'll the push. homies asked for Instagram. You wouldn't give it to them. They could figure it out themselves. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a, it, it probably won't be that hard to find. Go search my who I'm following. Right, Edwina. <laughs> Boom, it's gonna come up. Bro, I'm gonna be honest. It's like, Edwin with an A. I thought. I thought she was Asian at first because she had that hat. She did have over that hat, her eyes, like, so you super couldn't tucked. see nothing. She still looked Asian even after she raised the hat up a little what bit. What are her and Baby Doll Forbes doing together? Like, what, know, are, right? what are they combining the forces to do? OnlyFans, to, to maybe? shake ass in front of the camera. I don't know if that. I didn't look. 
She, yeah. the, the other girl didn't give me shaking ass vibes. Edwina? I mean, she had Look the at her ass Instagram. on her. Oh, really? She's shaking that wagon all over the place. That shit, that shit was... I'm an admirer wagon. of booties. And that was a booty. What the gram looking like? How many followers she got? I think like 300k or something. Oh, okay, that's still accessible. You can still get in there, right? I feel like I feel still like once, once they <laughs> once they crack a million, bro, it's a, mm. it's a, unless you, you know you unless had you somebody got, with a million writing you back. That's a fact. Yeah, don't sell yourself short, man. Could you wipe yeah. a chick up after she fucked Dan Bilzerian? I don't give a fuck. You don't care. Who, who I don't give a fuck if Dan Bilzerian threw her off the roof. <laughs> <laughs> that's a plus, if anything. Yeah, that's a plus. A, I don't give a fuck, bro. I, but it's a lot of things that I really don't give a fuck about. So like, hmm. you know, I feel like I'm the I'm a, I'm a bad person to ask. Could you Could you fuck with a girl and she fucked Puerto Flaco? Could you fuck with her afterwards? No. I would just look at her differently. Like, not even there's nothing wrong with Flacco. I just feel like I would just judge her. Like, either you was trying to get some bread off of him, or you just have some type of ulterior motives. So what like, if there's I a video on Pornhub that. of her fucking no. getting railed out by Poetic Flacco? Hell no. Would you watch it? No. He said he wait, got wait, a ten inch. Who are we talking about? Just any, any girl? girl? No. No. Also, I would never fuck a girl. I, I would never wife a girl that was on Plug Talk with you. Hmm. That's fair. You're missing out on a lot of great women. <laughs> no, but, yeah. Even Laura doesn't believe you. Even Laura just no. called BS on no, that. No, she was calling BS that you have a lot of great women on there. That's what she was saying. We have a lot of great women on Plug Talk. Uh, sure. Bro, you know that I realized. Nah, I don't think so. When I was in Vegas, I realized that the women on Plug Talk, most of them were at EDC. Oh yeah, almost an exact like one to one ratio. Really? Like if they were on Plug Talk, they were at EDC wearing a crazy ass outfit with their hair freshly dyed and out there shaking ass at EDC. I hate that music. I don't know if I could ever do that again. Oh, I would never go. You know, I'd rather kill myself. I went before and it was it was cool. But you won't like, even go to the movies past eight o'clock. You went with Cam Girl. Yeah, I went to Heart Summer. That's hey, different. Cam- I'm going out at night Thursday and Friday. Is Cam Girl okay? Yeah, what'd you say? Prayers go to Cam Girl. In the hospital. She's oh. in the hospital. Yeah, I did see that. I don't know what it was about though. But I think she's okay though. She has some kind of. She just did it. She just DJed uh, something in Chicago like yesterday. Mm. I think <laughs> yesterday. I, want to laugh like, I don't know if anything's been up. posted since the hospital. <laughs> no, I swear, yeah. I said she's in the hospital. She just DJed. Like I swear, bro. she did. Bro. Get well, cam girl. Get well. Like, no, is nigga. the most recent post on her Instagram her in the hospital? No, I'm about to go look. That's right the now. last thing that I seen. Look, I'm about to go. She DJed. She's such nigga, a I swear, y'all think I'm <laughs> such a dedicated <laughs> look, DJ. Look, this is the last thing she posted. It is six hours ago, folks. Okay, she's she fine. posted a flyer for a show she's playing. It's not a flyer. It's literally her DJing. It's her getting to the place. <sighs> It's at Prism Nightclub. But she didn't delete the, the clip of her in the hospital? Uh, it looks like it's deleted. She deleted it? Yeah. Look. Oh, so that was fake? I don't know if it was fake, nah, but she archived it. She was definitely in the hospital. She was in the hospital, but she must have archived it. Mm. We got to stop talking about her on here. She don't like wow, she, she's part of she this. Don't like she it. don't like it, apparently. She's part of the No Jumper multiverse. Why? I know that she doesn't want her ex-boyfriend talking about her. Yeah, she, he different. never brought her up. Yeah, but you guys want to talk about her every episode with him. No, we don't. <laughs> I've seen Disconnected. You bring I know. It up. You bring it up. Maybe I'll bring No, I never bring you it up. You brought her up right now. Something about her being in the hospital. No, I did. Oh, you did. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I really was like, damn, did I? <laughs> we could have just not acknowledged it. Yeah, you I know. know. Yeah. I wasn't going to say nothing about it. I saw it. I was worried. Yeah. Did you, did you hit her up? No. I think, did I leave a comment? I forget. I might have liked it. <laughs> Josh. If you see someone in the hospital and you just like the post and don't hit them up, that got fucked up. You can at least put a yeah, prayer in. It's almost <laughs> better if you don't hit them up. If that's why just... every time we do the news, people are like, our prayers with you at no jeopardy. Nigga, you don't, Nigga, pray. You don't even pray. I pray. I pray <laughs> every you don't day. Pray. I do. You don't even believe in the prayers working. <laughs> he, always, he got his face to people like, our prayers with you at no jumper. I pray. I just don't think it does anything. Because I'm not you praying pray? to anybody. You last time you I'm pray? just praying to the sky. Like, oh, I hope they're all right. But it's not like I think the the sky is actually going to impact the course of it's events not the in sky, some way. Man. That's who I pray to. Though. It's not Sky Bree, okay? I pray to Sky Bree. That's <laughs> <laughs> the surrogate mother of my next child. <laughs> Shit, the, wait, really? Are you serious? Yeah. She's wait, gonna, dead She's going to carry our kid for us. This wow. is strange. No, why would we do that? Yeah, I was about to say, why wouldn't we pick anyone else? I'll say, I don't know what y'all got going on, man. I mean, it would kind of fuck up the whole porn thing, at least temporarily. I mean, couldn't she do Can your surrogate be like a black woman this time? But isn't your baby going to come out black? God, I don't want to hear Twitter talk about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When's your baby come out black? 
No. no. <laughs> <laughs> that they would just be, carry. But that know. would be a, cra <laughs> a crazy mental image of like a black woman giving birth to my white ass kid. Yeah. Like in one percent. That would be wild looking. What? What if like this, Gina's this? like me? Yeah, I'll do it. You'll do it. What? The right price, huh? How much you want, Gina? Twenty. No, nah, you need more than twenty. I heard it's like a hundred racks. Come on. You get Gina a hundred. Well, I think that's the going rate. You think so? I don't want Gina doing it. She's probably going to be around a shootout or something mid-pregnancy, <laughs> no, bro. Not. Why would you say that? She's, she's going to be hosting a cypher. She's, she's not in the, the neighborhood. Yes, she is. <laughs> she's not in the hood. Yes, she is. She's she going to be hosting a cypher. She's going to be hosting some cypher. No. Somebody's going to be mad come for somebody... get back. And I don't, yeah. I don't want it. She's, she's too much of a target, bro. she got too much attention on her. Wow. It's your girl, Gina Views. <laughs> Carrie and Adam 22's <laughs> baby. We never slept together. I'm just doing them a favor. <laughs> She's like, Adam, you better up it or this baby's dead. <laughs> you better give me a raise No, or this baby's going to hey, the grave. If somebody did that, like, there was a surrogate and they was like, you know what, this is my baby now. And it just, and like, just left the country the baby? or something. I don't know, but I believe it's possible. What they have the to sign paperwork, yeah. But I could imagine somebody just taking off. What I the bet it's fuck? Happened. And just got on with the baby? Just take the baby. How long, crazy. how long would you wait after, like, like are, do you have to be there, like, a regular... Like pregnancy, like right when the baby yeah, comes out, because you gotta snatch that shit away from her the second that fucking pops out. Yeah, and be like here, but I say, what, if, girl. what if she wants like a couple, couple of seconds with the baby? Let's get right back to that. First thing I want to say is this podcast is brought to you by King Palm, the all natural smoking wrap company that is shaking shaking up the industry with their tobacco free blunt wraps. Yes, sir. They are empty leaf tubes that you simply pack and load. They also have these new flavor tips. Right here mm. with terpene capsules that you can squeeze and pop to get some more flavor. That's fire. They also have a wide variety of different flavor palm rolls and sizes for any occasion. Super smooth smoke, easy to use. Get them at kingpalm.com, your local smoke shop, and even at your local 7-Eleven. This product pairs perfectly with any top shelf flower for a, sloop, a super slow burning session. King Palm was the pioneer of the natural leaf wrap back in 2016, and they're now one of the best selling brands in smoke shops across America. Check them out on socials. Use our discount code NOJUMPER50, all one word, for 50% off at kingpalm.com. Take advantage of this one of this one-time offer now. It's guaranteed to be one of the best smoking experiences you've ever had. There's no need to lick it or roll it. All mm. they have to do is just pack it. Take the natural path with King Palm. No need to lick it, just pack it. And we lighten this thing up right now. So we lighten that thing up, we right? big high in this room. Got now. Nigga, are we, are we supposed to be the first hour in before we start smoking? Well, today we had a sponsor. There we go, yeah. You know? Shout out to fucking Josh, man, for holding it down behind the behind the boards every week, man. So that nigga just grins so. As long as Josh <laughs> is getting a shout out, let's also shout out T. Rel and let's talk about yes, sir. What you guys are going to talk about tomorrow, which is him. No, you coming tomorrow? Violently. Talk about it. Wait, what happened? Bro. You weren't in the group chat today. I didn't read it today. No. Oh my god! How are you going to miss out on a whole day in the group chat? I know. I'm. This sorry. is why you're behind. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had stuff to do today. I don't I'm know sorry. how much of it I want to really like. I ain't going to say we're going to talk about it. We don't talk about shit like that. Why not? He said he was going to talk about tomorrow. You said you were coming to talk to him. Tomorrow. You I know. And I don't want to like say too much right now. Nah, fuck that. Y'all got to let me know. I didn't even know what's going say on. Say the sauce for Wednesday. Mm. There's a video of him gangbanging on Frank Ocean. Back <laughs> <in the day>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a tornado That's what flew you guys around are my room. <laughs> the title, you came. <laughs> it says Chris Brown's cousin. cousin. <laughs> Chris Brown's cousin bangs on Frank Ocean in traffic. And I feel like he was trying to act like this wasn't him for a while. I seen it's not that, him. <laughs> I've seen that video on Worldstar like so many years ago. But Yuri brought it up on his, his fucking, fucking stream. Yuri. And then God Flacco's been talking to everybody about it. So now T-Rell has to have a reckoning with his past and talk about why he was doing this. Wow. It's crazy. I didn't see his face. I don't believe it's him. Yeah, I mean, if there's another guy who talks exactly like him and has the same exact <laughs> voice and bangs the exact same gang as him, okay. <laughs> but also, I'm surprised that 10 years ago, T-Rail was on that type of time. That's, Bro, that's why I want to have it explained. I told you that. That's the only, that's the only time he probably would be but on that type of time. I didn't know he was running down on Frank Ocean. I don't believe he did that. Frank Lotion. That's you. 
<laughs> he loves calling me. We got to get to the root of this. Because I mean, AD is AD is a crip. We ain't never seen no video of AD fucking screaming well, on a pop star I like that. A, I am a no jumper employee. Yeah. I am a tax paying citizen. I'm a civilian. Maybe Frank Ocean can come I'm on at the end of the dude. day. I'm a suburban guy. Frank Ocean's going to come on at the end of the day and squash his beef with, with Chris Brown's cousin officially. Call me Kodak Black, but when you see me, I am white. white. I finally got that. You finally seen I it? seen it. Yeah. Yes, there we go. The man. fans sent me in. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, shout out to Yuri for, for uh, linking the info. You're reminding me that we have to, because I decided I was going to give 200 to uh, five different fan pages. Oh, wow. Yeah, they said you were scamming. Can all those fan pages uh, send me their fucking PayPal or Cash App or however you want to get paid so I can remember to send it to Josh tonight? So, uh, what, what, was the, uh, what was the competition for who, who had the funniest meme? I decided we're going to hook up some of the fan pages. That harmonious jumper. No jumper memes. Some really funny ones. No jump uh memes. No, jump, no jumper uh, underscore no context. No jumper memes. Crip like underscore hating. tick. Oh, we Shout out to so Crip many. Ticks, man. Crip Ticks is funny. And then who, who's the other? I, I think we ended up on uh, not house phone. But then no jumper clipped was the other option. Damn, we got so many. Maybe what we'll the just hook fuck? them all up. No jumper memes thinks you don't like them. I don't know why he thinks that. They shout them out all the time, reposting shit. I think he just got mad that one time when you were just like, we got to stop shouting out all the, all the meme pages. But who cares? <laughs> who would like? I mean, okay. Yeah, right. Like <laughs> you're making memes about the podcast. Like you can't complain about me. Yeah, right. Like say what I'm saying on the podcast. It's bad like podcasting. The, no, that's a meme. It's bad meme. That's a tick. That's your tick. That's your tick. <laughs> that's no, your crib tick. Not your tick. Yes. Your, your tick, tick is, is come on, guys. Ticks. So bad, Bob. Yeah, that's your big tick. crib tick. That's that's just your like shield to try to protect you against me giving you any kind of <laughs> advice on how to be better at podcasting. It's like, no, what? I'm like, you just like say b- bad podcasting. You acting like you wrote the to book. To try to like, uh, well, I, I've been doing this for a very long time. You wrote the book of porn. I've given you a <laughs> lot of very good advice podcasting wise yeah. that you refuse to give me credit for. No, mm. I, I don't give you credit. I literally told you today. He said, hey, D, your streams are getting way better. I said, well, you sure did show me how to put the battery in my back and show me how to do this. Did I not? Get off my dick. <laughs> see, you can't give him no. You can't give him no. See, see how many good niggas are He was waiting. He was waiting. I'm taking over at the end of the day. I was on the last week's episode. I'm coming on tomorrow. Oh shit! Just admit that you like it, man. It's fun. It's fun. It is. I like fun. being the co-host. You just sit there. You like, oh, oh, oh. you make jokes and shit. <laughs> I just feel like I need to be on camera tomorrow with T Rail because we haven't done anything on camera in so messy. long. When they be messy. messy. I want to be here when he's describing why he was doing what he was doing when he was Chris Brown's cousin. <laughs> you also want to hear about his turkey, his turkey story? Oh, of course I want to hear about turkey. He just got back, huh? He out here flexing. I know somebody else who just had their hair done and he'd been rocking a fitted nonstop. Yeah, facts. T-Rell out here on the fucking boat with his arm <laughs> around his girl. Shirt off. Fucking big transplant just glistening. He finna be lined up, man. You think he gives his phone to his girl and he's like, hey, make my hair look normal. She tunes it up and how face tune it, real quick. How long does it take to fully heal and be like ready to? It's a whole thing because you get the plugs in huh. and then they fucking fall out and then they all grow back. So what? they usually say it takes like six months. Does it grow back normal though? Once it grows back, it looks good. It looks normal if, if it worked out. So if you cut your shit right now, it's going to grow back like that. If I shave my head right now, you wouldn't be able to tell. It wouldn't really. You might be able to tell a little bit because some of the follicles, like when it's shaved, you can kind of tell that they're like pointing in different directions mm. or whatever. <laughs> they gave you the Doug funny. No, nah, it's just like the one, when they take them out the back and then they put it in the front. So they're kind of like, you, you could sort of tell if you know what you're looking for, mm. that they like look a little different. But He posted a picture like while he was like getting it done. That shit looks scary. You was, think he's going to wear a fitted tomorrow? I would if I just got it done. Are you not supposed to? No, you can as long as it's kind of loose. And- His shit looked like he had a great oh, procedure. No. The other homie scared me. Mm. I'm going to be honest. I, all my fit is be too tight, bro. I would be scared to do that shit. <laughs> Yo, fucking transplant come off. Bro, <laughs> I'll fuck my shit up with the fitted. <laughs> I did an interview for Hip Hop DX with Crooked Eye interviewing me. Mm-hmm. And it was That's like random. It was like a week after. I got my shit done. So if you go watch that, oh. you'll be able to see what my head looked like. You was in, you was in the interview scabbed up? You couldn't tell. It looked normal. Mm. 
Mm. So I say that. Just it's just say. funny because me and Cam girl used to make jokes that like he had some secret procedure she for knew. so long. Oh, she, she knew. Used to deny, I, I, yeah, you denied it. I she him knew. So much to she just you. didn't want to say anything because she fucking was trying to be polite. So she oh, would she, say it. She I, actually I, knew. I, I don't know if she actually one hundred percent knew, but she at least was very suspicious and she didn't really want to like poke the bear. I was too pressing hard. you. Yeah. Yeah. But you, you because that guy made a video talking about me having it. Before Who, that, I even that got one it. guy that was roasting you, I roasting? forget. No, it was like a dude made a video like talking about it, like how he could tell that I did it, mm. and so then it started to be like, oh, the cat's kind of out of but the bag. I don't understand man. why you was so like embarrassed by it. I wasn't like super embarrassed, but when I first got it, I was like fucking twenty seven, so oh, I, wow. I didn't know anybody else who had had it. It's Bro, way told different. Me he for lost T- his hair when he was twenty six. T. Rel wouldn't even know that this was a thing. If it wasn't for the fact that I talk about it, that Tori's mm. talked about it, that Tiger, everybody talked about it. You know, when I got it, I'm hanging out with all BMX dudes who are all broke and mostly younger. So they didn't know, I didn't know anybody who had done it. So I felt like a fucking loser, but I was kind of hyped because I was like, oh, I could pull the fucking wool Now over you got eyes. the Fonzie. You're like, hey. Hey. Yeah. Tiger really changed his own life with that, bro. Because he was down bad for a second. There's a lot of people, man. Fucking... Uh, MGK? You got it too? Bro. Him back in the day. Hey, this shit was I'm, bad too. I'm going, bro. Your shit's not even bad yet, bro. I'm going though. Just to do it. Just to do it. Can I ask you guys a question? Yes. Would you buy your girl a coach bag? Duh. I wouldn't do it. She wouldn't want it. Why? She doesn't like that brand. Is coach is too low class? I think it's not her style. She said it's not her style. Uh-uh. She's too bougie for that. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. would I buy her one? If you want one, yeah. Because I got my girl the Coach Disney collab. Oh, well. Just for the hell of it. Because I thought, thought my kid would think it was well, cute no. and stuff. Well, no. Okay, well, first. I it, bought her like infinite like bags that are way more expensive. And like, doesn't, I just thought doesn't the, your girl hella like Disney shit? Well, I figured that it would be cool because the kid would like it too. Yeah. That's so cool. it was like a two for one. You know. I'm pretty sure they got like a Gucci uh a Disney Honestly, I see my somewhere I, too. I see my the, girl with the with Donald the coach the coach fucking Disney purse like way more than a lot of the more expensive purses I bought her cuz I think Chanel, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, but I you're right. But this is just like she she's just like a cheap fuck so she knows that it's fucking less expensive so she's like, "Oh, I'll just bring this out more often." I felt that. That's kind of her swag though. She's not really like care about that type of what shit. What are you buying your girl like an Abercrombie gift card? <laughs> Um, no, nah, you buying her a kick to the ass. <laughs> what? <laughs> I got you some abuse. <laughs> Y'all think I'm Rio the young OG, hey, like throw, throwing my bitch down a flight here, of stairs? Merry or Christmas. What the fuck? <laughs> Why are we putting this narrative on? Yeah, it? y'all got me fucked up. I just want a woman beater. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. down. Somebody on my, we were talking about cereals yesterday on my Twitch, and somebody said the, the Captain Crunch guy definitely beats women. I said, where like, do you get that from? Fuck? I can see it. The Captain Crunch guy. Man, he does seem kind of jolly. I bought my bitch some product glasses. That's the last. That's the last thing. You I bought, bought some Balenciagas. Uh huh. I was with her today. <laughs> I was with her today. Actually, she still got them. Yeah, she still got them. Yeah, nigga, that bitch got more shoes than anybody I've ever known in my life. So she for sure got those. I'm sure you guys didn't see it, but on disconnected, we were talking about like the Gucci Adidas collab uh-huh. and like some other whack ass collabs, and like we were just saying like. This shit is blown out. Like they're doing it with the too much of the shit. And then I see it on Twitter the other day that there's an Adidas Balenciaga, the Balenciaga collab Balenciaga, coming yeah. out. I'm like, bro, the Adidas like, Gucci. Who Adidas the Balenciaga? fuck even cares? I'm not gonna at this lie point? though. I'm not gonna lie. The I don't even like those Balenciaga shoes, but the the Adidas ones are fire. Why? The they just look like the Balenciaga collab was better than the Gucci collab for sure. Yeah, way better than that Gucci. Did you collab. see the fucking other shoes Balenciaga got coming out? They're Which, like disintegrated, bro. Yeah, we talked about oh, that yeah, when those I was shits, on Disconnected, too. Those yeah. shits For fucking suck balls, That bro. was the fun thing about when I was on Disconnected when you did not show up was mm. uh, that we got to do the clothing review, and I, I thought that was pretty fun. You want to come back on this Thursday, too? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I told you. Y'all want some shoes? Yes. You want some shoes? Yes, yes. Let's shout them out. Superior Exports. House phone needs something. Adam Superior needs Exports. DM me on Instagram at House Phone yep. Shoddy. They got everything. What kind of shoe plug is this? Is this like a, a customs guy who's no, going to no, draw no. my face no, on some vans? No, it's legit. He just gave me He just gave me like the fragment Travis Scott ones. The low top ones or the, the high top? The low top. Those ones uh, I want. I'm about to get the low top he got, too. He got Christian Dior's. He got Amiri's. He got all type of shit. He gave them to you? Gave them. Yeah. For the free. Gave them up. For the free ski. Huh? She wears a five. Gina got an interview now, so Superior yeah. Exports. Superior is a child. Type, type <laughs> in as a child. Tap like in, size five. Tap in with the uh, the children's sizes. Wow. 
Yeah, but no, tap me in with that. I need that. Hey. You know I love a good pair. You're going to see this, and I'm going to say, you got to hook the homies up. If somebody's going to give me clothes, like people always try to no, offer shoes. me clothes or shoes or whatever, and it's like, I always want to tell them, but I don't say it, is like, if you want to give me something, you got to like bring it to me because they're like, oh, like look through this this catalog and like tell me yeah, what you want. I'm like, bro, I'm, nah, not, I'm not really doing that. I don't got that, that kind of time. But if it's any like shoes that you be like, hey, I want those, you'll be like, oh, yeah, I'll send them to you. It's okay. cool. How's he get them? You got a plug. They, they got fell a plug. off a truck? Oh, yeah, is this maybe. a mafia thing? Is this no, a no, no, thing? no, no, no. This is like real he legit. He might have like really backdoored them, but you know? This is real legit, though. I don't want to be trafficking the stolen goods. No, it's not stolen Bro. goods. <laughs> Based on you? what I know of you, how? I you're kind of shysty. You're shysty. What have I done, shysty? I buy everything legit. You're poo shysty. Oh my god. <laughs> poo wipey. Damn, that's crazy. That if you would fucking, if you came up in Memphis with with poo shysty, you would be ad shysty. Nah. Or poo poo ad. If I grew or up poo in Memphis, bear. I'd probably be a barbecue chef. Why? You Why? Think that? Instead of a gang member, you would have just what? been a compo- completely different type that of person. Barbecue is amazing. <laughs> That would have been my passion problem. That's- <laughs> there was a girl on the Patreon the other day. That was the most random thing you ever said. This girl was on the Patreon, and she said that she like took a break from doing, doing porn. porn to be a chef. And now she's thinking like maybe she should be a chef instead of doing porn. And this is I was like, listen, everybody can make some food, right? But everybody every- can fuck. But not everybody can There's take some There's only one you. But realistically, if you were to make some fucking... You know, chicken salad. It's not. It's probably not even going to be better than like a lot of other people's chicken salad. What if her food was crazy though? Yeah. What if What if she was like? And so I, I, Gordon I, pers- I encouraged her to pursue cooking on the side. Good job, porn but man. But you got to keep slaying that. Oh, ass. never mind. You yeah. take my shit back. Slaying the ass. Oh, I saw you post. Uh, speaking of slaying ass, I saw you post uh, Kazumi's homegirl today, Emma Magnolia. Oh, man, Damn. new plug talk. You get to see her loser anal V card. What? Oh God! You fucked her in the ass on camera. It wasn't me. I had a male talent do it. I thought. I thought. So, so when you do plug talk, it's not just you. Sometimes we might have a guy come in and do the dirty work. Sometimes you tap in, which you, is crazy because it actually would have been so much easier for her to take my dick in her ass because this guy's dick was fucking gigantic. He was in here yesterday. Why didn't you offer? I mean, we already had a male talent on deck. Is that the guy you had on your vlog? Yeah. Who was it? Rico Jason. Strong. Jason Sweets. That's a terrible name. Well, he said, fuck you. He said, Lil House One's a terrible <laughs> name. <laughs> I assume. <laughs> now, he came in with that girl, Kylie. Who, you already watched today's vlog? Mm-hmm. Oh, you really tapped in. I watch a vlog. I support the yeah, homies, Because you man. know you're in it. That's not why I watch it. I support the homies. You want to see yourself. Lie, I watch the shit when I know I'm in it. He watches everything, though. Yeah. Right. On the low. I just don't tell y'all. He's also the first person to ask me for, to pass the spliff so far. Everybody else in the office. Yeah, I, nigga, I'm loving this with. He didn't know that I own community. I was like, Yeah, I really did. My bad, bro. But yeah, I really didn't. <laughs> what do you think? I just letting somebody <laughs> upload all my shit? Fucking eagle eyes. I hope I get to see me going for it two times. <laughs> no, dead ass, bro. I thought I thought that like I thought it was like those academics fan pages where they just uh they just upload clips of But he can monet you can monetize off they use your shit anyway. Right. Man. Yeah. You just gotta have a company that I'm, I'm dropping to- twenty videos this week. What it are you just talking videos? about? You're gonna talk about T Rail and shit. Frank Ocean? Nope. I don't believe it. <laughs> He's like, that's what wasn't my home. Potato flu. So, are you taking notes throughout the day now of like different topics that you want to speak on? You know, it's crazy. I did the same thing that I was doing for at the end of the day, and we ended up not doing any topics. So now I would mm. get the topics and talk about it on my stream now. Because mm. sometimes it's just more natural to just hop on this bitch and just start like. To me, that's fun. Yeah, to just we just start freestyling. I mean, how much of it is the chat telling you talk about this thing, so then you talk about that thing? About sixty percent. That's mm. probably the easiest thing to do in the world, huh? Right. Yeah. You should like do uh like uh like moist critical where he like literally just watches whatever they tell him to watch and then make clips out of that. But see now, but Pun started a reaction channel now. So I don't even want to do like reactions to videos. Mm. I want to throw that to pun, let That's him fire. do that, and I just talk about the shit they want me to talk so about. So you're putting you're putting a pun in a box. You're you're only allowing him to talk about certain things. I saw the clip of him saying you're putting too many rules on me. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, he was basically he was just basically just saying like the leadership role and stuff like that. No, but he wants to do reactions. So I say, yeah, if you do that, I support you. Well, he what got, if pun ends up becoming like a bigger YouTuber than you? That's cool. That's, That's yeah. my homie. I support him. He could be big. That's great. That's fire, yeah. And he's he'll, he'll probably talk about more street shit what that you're scared I, to talk what about. What if I become a bigger YouTuber than you? Mm, be my guest. You probably try to get me killed. 
You Satanist. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Off. I might have to holler at Bill Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got this guy. I need you to take him out. I need you. I need you. Anything for you, Adam. He was like, no pardon for him. <laughs> hey, listen, Joe Biden. I, I need you to do an indictment. <laughs> That's how he talks? <laughs> yeah. <A> Rico. <laughs> <laughs> we need a Rico on the crib. So did you meet Hillary Clinton? Yeah. What? Before she was satanic. Where's wow. the picture? Where's the picture at? <laughs> did you go to Epstein's Island? No. <laughs> this is way before all that. This was before that. Dun, I never dun. got that invite. Bro, I had the best shit happen to me on stream yesterday, though, bro. Does it involve Jeffrey Epstein? No. Okay. <laughs> That's probably good. Pun was saying that Little B's Twitter was fake. What? And what? I called and I said his shit is real. And he said he gave me his number. I called Little B live. That's and fire. the first thing Little B said is shout out to the cut 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 community. Really? I did not know cuck, he cuck, watched cuck, cuck. it. He wow. said, I know he fucked in no jumper. It's weird because Honestly, Lil B has been shouting us out for a long Constantly. ass time. Always showing love to No Jumper, but I've mentioned to him like, "Hey, let's do an interview or let's do." I tried to get him to do a live interview with me. Mm. Can't get through to him. Come on, Base God. Base God, Base come God, on, let's make that. history. Let's do a live interview in LA. Ooh, or no. just come here and do it. We'll just zone out for three hours and let just come on the No Jumper show. Let me AD and House Phone pass you all kinds of shit. Bitch mob tiny pants. I don't give a fuck. Mm. Twenty bitches on my dick, nigga. Run, run it up. Run it Strapped up, up with the AK forty seven. Bitch okay. mob till I die and I go to heaven. There it is. <laughs> Can I tell you about a very uh, interesting phone call that I got on Saturday? Mm. So it's early in the morning. Speak on it. Me and Trev are uh, in the Uber on the way to the airport. Oh, I know where this is going. And I get. A uh, FaceTime call from Lil Pump. Oh, so I pick up and hey, Pump. It's hey. Lil Pump. He Pump says, or nickel? He says, <laughs> "Lilium." How's it going, bud? <laughs> <laughs> hey, bud. Um, <laughs> why is that so funny? That's an old ass joke. That's a good one. Pump or That's the oldest fuck. Pump or nickel? <laughs> this dude is out of the fucking what the loop. Fuck? <laughs> That's old. That that's like old. a four-year-old viral that tweet. Old. That is old. Lilium Pumpernickel. That's a good, no jumper clips. Clip that. Okay. <laughs> and so Lil Pump says, Pumpernickel. At first, it seems cool. He says, "What are you doing?" I say, "We just got done interviewing Dan Bilzerian." And he is goes, he? "He goes, oh, that's dope. That's a homie." And then he says, "Hey man, I heard all that shit you be talking on No <laughs> Jumper, Pumpernickel. I didn't mean it." <laughs> He's upset. What were you saying? I don't know. I remember what you said. What, from your perspective, what was it? Because mm -hmm. I'm asking the fans to also try to compile anything that it might be, so we can react you to it. You basically next time. said that he fell off. What what episode is this? I, mean, I don't know. It was like seven thousand of these pods. Right. Yeah. I don't really remember. It was saying on a like jumper that. show though. That, it was like, on a jumper show. I need like, to see the tape because I've been yeah. pretty but polite. I've tried to be you polite. Didn't, you didn't say it maliciously like, "Oh, you fell off your trash." You were just like blatantly saying like, if I, "Like, if I heard it, I'd be like, ah, I don't like the nigga." I was surprised. Mm. You were surprised that he was I didn't mad. say that I don't like it. Were you flabbergasted? I was taken aback because I did not expect this. So I don't know what. But then I went to a story and I saw him playing this really big festival in Mexico. That shit would look crazy. So, I mean, hey, I'm not hating on Lil Pump's career by any means. But, I mean, also, just because I fuck with you at a certain point in your career and we do content together doesn't mean that I'm indebted to like you know act as if your career is something that it's not yeah, for the rest of your life. Calling out, now, 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 calling right, out, like, calling I mean, out, calling out. I would out, like now, to now. see his shit continue to do well. I would like to see his career go great. But I mean, realistically, it's like if we're going to have a conversation about music and about where certain artists from the SoundCloud generation are at in terms of their careers, honest, you got to be honest. Like, it would look crazy if we were fucking on here just acting like everybody that we're cool with is at the top of their fucking career, especially when there's a whole fucking industry of people out there making videos, about. basically just chronicling the downfall of Pump and Perp and talking about how their numbers are this and that yeah. compared to whatever. I mean, we're not fucking getting in on that. I feel like there's a million people that he could be mad at before but, we would be mad at me right but you, but you know what's crazy i could see smoke perp being mad at us or at you more than pump being mad i feel like we've talked about perp a little bit more but pump That's, pump did put me in the sentence so i don't know if he had been talking to perp but pump said i hear that shit you've been talking about me and perp so uh, I don't know. This I mean, was a said, combined uh, effort. When I seen the old vlog, it seemed like y'all was like real cool friends. So they that's was, probably why they, they take was. it more personal right. than just anybody that's just making videos about them and shit. Yeah, I mean, I feel that. But also, it's just like, bro, 
It's just the truth, bro. Yeah. I can't sit on here and act like everybody's at the height of their fucking career if they're not. Yeah. I was pretty taken aback by it. And he was really talking shit, too. He goes, that's why you got them gray hairs in your beards, because you're snorting all that coke. Oh, he was really going in he on He started you. going in, so he didn't even get the memo that I haven't done coke in like four years. He was like, shut up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I did hang up after maybe like five minutes on the what? phone. Because he was just yapping. He goes, he goes, if you if you got some shit to say about me, say it on my to my face. Don't say it on the internet. I'm thinking like, why would I call you and be like, bro, you fell off? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, I don't have any desire to talk shit. That's why wow. I don't even think that. I, I think that if you were to play back the tape of everything I ever said about Pump, that you would hear me being very reserved in how I talk yeah. about what could only be described as a decline in his career, right? I mean, nobody is fucking out of the joke on that. Everybody sees that his career is not where it was three, four years ago, right? Yeah, I mean, like, and I feel like there's nothing wrong with that because at least with him, he reached heights that, like, you know, his friend probably didn't reach. Mm. So that like he'll still be getting he'll still be getting booked for the rest of his life, like just off those songs, for just, sure. You know, and I would never want to take that away from him. But at the same time, I mean, I, I I need to see the tape. I need to see what he saw that he thought was so bad that it made him that mad. And also, keep in mind, he's calling me at nine in the morning. He so I don't know was, if their fucking mollies are raging in his system still from the he night before. He like the one that was lit and, and had something to say. I mean, I learned this from Ralphie the Plug, too, which is, well, I assumed in both cases that if somebody's beefing with you on the internet at 8 in the morning. It's because they haven't slept from the night before. They probably didn't, like, wake up at 7 the way that I did and, like, you know, get a workout in and have, like, a, a, a great uh, positive a day ready. <laughs> They're probably Pumpernickel. still up from the night before raging out. Yeah. It would seem, and you just so happened to fall into the cross, the crossfire. I mean, he f was probably feeling himself after playing a really good show the night before, yeah, right? and that had him just thinking, like, who has wronged me? He's like, you know what, fucking Adam. Let me call Adam. Let me 22 call Adam twenty two and tell him he's a fucking old fart cokehead. Yeah, <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. Isn't that hilarious? Adam don't care about none of this shit. I, I know. Don't give a <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was looking. They was like, look at look at House Phone uh, reacting to Ralphie and them. And I was watching your shit, and he was like, to be honest, Adam doesn't give a fuck about nobody. I was like, <laughs> yeah, because I mean, any any rapper beef that I might get into, it's like, okay, there's like five million other people that I could fucking do content with. Like, if you're if I think that they're right, if they think that if they have an actual grievance against me that makes sense to me, yeah, then I try to be polite about that and everything but in I the case the of the ralphie thing it was kind of like and we are scheduled to do content next week so that's gonna be interesting and he just did boot like kev mm. so we're gonna find out what, what i feel kev was able to get out of him i feel the exact same way bro i feel like i don't get on here and just start shitting on people unless they try to shit on me first i feel like a lot of people be trying to fucking bother you yeah so that's why i'd be like just letting it fly on these niggas i'm like bro you're not finna sit there and try to like mm. act like you better than me bro you and I'm always surprised up. by it, too, because I feel like for some reasons, like, well, actually, there's not that many rappers that would, like, feel as if it's their business to get on my ass about saying that they fell off. But with them, it's just yeah. kind of different because we were, like, in the fucking dirty ass van together on tour and yeah. stuff like that. But started from the bottom type. Vibe. Bro, like, I can't be cool with anybody if they expect me to just lie on their behalf for the entirety of their career after we do content together you know like like i'm and i'll be nice about it like i'm not gonna be one of them people you never see me post about when pump comes out and sells three thousand copies first week or whatever the yeah. fuck it was or, or like like doesn't even promote his new shit trying right. to trying to get yeah, that last shit, shit like this out of maybe man <laughs> i'm just not i'm not like fucking trying to kick dirt on his name but at the yeah. same time we talk about all of the top rappers we talk about everything that's going on in the industry it would be weird if we didn't acknowledge when we talk about you that clearly your career is not in the place that it was a few years ago. Yeah, I, mean, and it's, I feel like there's nothing wrong with that, bro. And I feel like, like I said, he's definitely in a better position than Perp as far as like he just has songs that are way bigger and mm -hmm. that he can just still get but like with like that festival that he got booked for. It was like Playboy Cardi. Fucking little baby, mm -hmm. like it was like hella lit but niggas on that lineup. So the fact that he's even still getting booked for lineups like that is fire as fuck. And the people were going crazy. So mm -hmm. maybe he was feeling himself. Like I you feel said. like his Mexico fan base is probably one crazy. of his most lit fan bases. Wait, for sure. oh, that's where that festival was at? Yeah, I believe. I thought it was in Canada. I don't think so. Okay. 
Not from what I saw. Okay. I don't think they're doing shit in Canada. I don't think they're really? allowed to have a fucking barbecue yeah, in Canada. No, huh? no they just had a uh, little baby just had a concert. He oh. brought Drake out. Okay. I stand corrected. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Holy shit. We so, should have been there. I don't know. The Lil Pump saga continues. We find out the Lil Pump. You guys, are probably, you guys, are, you guys are probably make up on that. Though. I kind of doubt it because he would probably have to like hit me up. I guess if if he were to hit me up, I would hit him back. But it's like, what are we going to really interview? What are we, I would like to do an interview with him? But what are we really going to talk about? Like you know? about how you say that he fell off. What's he, what's he going to say? Well, am, I gonna, am I gonna have to get a statistician to like bring in the numbers and be He's like, well, be actually, it says that you got 100 million views in uh, 2018, and then this year you got four million views. Let's talk about that. You gonna like pull up the Google Trends for the last like couple years? I mean, if you if we gotta argue if he fell off or not, I'm gonna have to go statistical. He's gonna be like, look at my shows, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just like we gotta talk about we gotta talk about it. Like he just gonna yell and like. What, what is him old. telling me that I have gray hairs in my beard because I do too much coke? <laughs> what does that have to do <laughs> that's with enough. if you fell yeah, off or not? Hilarious. That to me, if you even acknowledge that I have gray hairs in my beard, which believe me, I look at myself in the mirror every day. I know. Yeah, me too. What does that have to do with anything? If you even bring you that up, more. to me, I that kind of lets me know that maybe you don't really have. Like if you really didn't fall off, then you could cite something. You could say, well, actually, look at these numbers. He's going to just try to prove to you like that his shows are still lit and probably pull out that video. I mean, I'm not trying to take that away from that you. That shit looked lit. I can't even lie to you. Right. Did it not? No, I mean, nobody's denying that. I don't know why you keep saying it. Uh, I'm just <laughs> high. I'm sorry. <laughs> Lil Pump's paying him. Yeah. I'm just, yeah. He's, he's on the pump. Lights Global his payroll. Little, his, his Lil Pump paying me. Sorry. <sighs> I don't know, man. Yeah. I wasn't, I, I didn't get in on it when fucking, they're, they're, everybody's dogpiling fucking perp. We, let's uh, shit on perp. Let's talk about how nobody went to his show or whatever. I did, for sure. I see it, and I'm not saying shit about it, right? I never yeah. fucking talked about it. You I think never? it's, I think it's kind of funny, just like everybody else. I mean, we might have talked about it for a second, but I'm not like shitting on him. Yeah, we didn't make like a Bob Lamb type like. I think that we cut video. a clip from either your pod or your pod talking about probably the fucking. Listen, I'm not holding much. I'm the not smoke per bad show with like ten people there. I don't. But I wasn't was, even on it. I don't think it was my show. I think it might have been his. I'm not holding my tongue back on none of, for none of these niggas, bro. Mm. I really don't you care. You never do though. Yeah, I never. I, I shit. You know. If, we're, if you can't handle me honestly talking about your career, then I don't give a fuck about being friends with you. Yeah. That's really all I got to say about that. We all grown now, bro. I mean, we, you was grown back then, but. <laughs> 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 I mean, like, we, like you know, he's grown now. We're all grown now. Like, right. anybody got time to be, like, trying to kiss your ass because you, you still have this, like, I'm at the top of the yeah totem pole like attitude yeah that's what right. i not. feel like he he got that mentality early on of just feeling like everybody was just gonna suck his dick forever because everybody was for a while yeah like, they were everybody was and they probably still are it would be, if we're really being honest they still are Long anyone shows cracking they gonna do it yeah. even like six nine like there's no shortage of fucking weirdos who are Hell trying yeah. to be his bestie just so they could be around some money and girls you know bro exactly he be having the thickest BBL Spanish bitches. <laughs> I would definitely go hang out with six. Because they got fucking, you would. Huh? Man, oh my, this is the only crazy. rat we jacking. <laughs> You'd be like, this is the rat I'm jacking. I would be getting sturdy and all hey, that. If he put you in the room with the Claremont twins, that's your best. Come team. on, bro. That's nigga. I'm, he got his Instagram deleted. Twizzy, you can't even tap twizz, in with them uh, anymore. How? <laughs> you can't even tap in with them anymore. How? Because you got your Instagram deleted. The Claremont twins, they, they ain't open your new how's, DM, right? Wait, you got yeah. house that house? was like four no, Instagram no. accounts ago. That was only one Instagram account ago. So what? The Claremont Twins opened the new DM? I haven't tapped back in uh, yet. Hold on. I was going to wait till I hit like 50 again or tell something. Tell them publicly. Hey, Claremont Twins. Holler at me. Fill house, up her comments. House phone shoddy. I'm about to DM y'all. But I saw them on the Hollywood Fix, like a paparazzi clip what? of them walking into a club, or, or not even a club, but like into a fucking corner store or some shit. <laughs> and it was titled like... Kanye's alleged new boot. Oh my which god! Which I didn't even know that the Claremont Can twins Kanye had been linked get to Kanye. Off my nuts! Right? Like, I feel like he just like he following me or something, bro. Right? Is Kanye? I just like to think that you got the vision, mm -hmm. bro. That's what I'm saying. So like, you need to invest in these bitches before he grabs. I know, because Kanye keep grabbing all my hoes, bro. He unfollowed Scott Bree. <gasps> he Kanye followed Sky Bree. Yeah, he did. He was following her for a while. On what? On Twitter? On Instagram. He unfollowed her. 
Twitter too? What? I don't know. I think just Instagram. You're such a fucking what the hoe. Fuck? I love Bro, you it. see Diablo is is all posting about how Kanye is looking at his story. He he asked me if it was worth a post on the No Jumper Instagram that Kanye was looking at his story. I think that Diablo guy was mad at me because I said I said something about him getting slapped or some shit. You got slapped by who? Oh, By Lil Pump, I think. That's an underrated part of Lil Pump's lore. Yeah. Good Lil. job, Pump. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Pumpernickel. Remember that? <laughs> that video was mad weird. Oh, actually, if you were to watch us talking about that, mm. then you might have a go. little bit of Adam. But what did we say? Well, all we said was that No, but slapped. I did a separate like FaceTime interview with Diablo talking about getting smacked by Pump. You think that's what he's mad about? If you were to watch that video, I bet that my tone was kind of like, damn, mm. his career ain't going that good. Uh, mm. Which I, I still... Know, I don't even know who the fuck Diablo is. He's like a producer. He produced some of Pump's <laughs> Who's biggest songs. Like which ones? Uh, Boss. He made Gucci Gang? He didn't make Gucci Gang. Nah, Big Head did that one. Yeah. Shout out to Big Head, man. But Pause. wait. Could you like, believe that I Big like Head was in Compton with me when he told you? I feel like G Nils <laughs> was a part of that, too. G Nils uh, uh, was a part of Gucci Gang. Dope guy, man. Yeah, you fuck with G Nils? G Nils and Big Head was in a group together. Yeah, when I met them. Mm. Mm-hmm. They, yeah, they were like, they all got Big Head used as fuck. to be at my granny house in Compton, bro. On really? Central. Yes. Big Head. Big Head. That's fire. Mm-hmm. Hey, Big Head. You better go help that. Pause. Nigga. Yeah, pause. You better go help that nigga out. Bro, I watched that nigga just go. When are you going to Turkey? I ain't going right now. You're not getting the hair done yet. I'm, I want to see T Real shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We need to get some new surgeries, bro. I want to try some new shit out. <laughs> I want to get the taller surgery. Yeah, yeah. You the should taller. get that. <laughs> get knee, that. You be knee, walking around 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, looking fly as I fuck. I want to come around with like the Popeye muscles. The knee BL. The knee BL. I don't want to see AD on testosterone. He'd be yeah, yelling yeah. at us and yeah, shit. He's going to be tripping. Hey, yeah, he's going to be aggressive as fuck. <laughs> You're going to be tripping out, bro. He's going to transform into Crip Mac. <laughs> like, yeah! <laughs> I bet Crip Max <laughs> testosterone levels are through the roof. Hey, are you are you really gonna do a plug talk with him and Lupe? No, bro. Okay, he I, keeps hitting me up asking me how much money can me and Lupe make on OnlyFans. I'm like, I don't know. It's up to the fans. You know how much they yeah. can make. I don't know. I don't know what the market $1 is. One million dollars to see them fuck. Dollars. Like what? What is like? How many people you better are, bust are that pumper nickel <laughs> and get on it? How many people you think? Would actually want to see that enough to pay ten bucks. House on definitely watching. What? I don't want to see You're it. You're watching, bro. It could be you right. Think in I'm front gonna of go me? sign yes. up, make an account. Not sign, make an account. I don't even have an account. But if it hit the group chat, you'll watch it. Pause. If it was, if you sent the, <laughs> if you sent the, if you sent the, the private link in the group chat, you know he's gonna get it. Yeah, I would probably get it just to react to it realistically, but I don't want to tell Crib Mac, oh, you're gonna make ten k, you're gonna make twenty k. When I don't know what he I can don't make a hundred k. Could he? He can make 5K. Listen, usually when people are signing up for an OnlyFans account, it's somebody that they think is attractive. <laughs> <laughs> but they might just want to see him fuck. You know, like when you hear about Bad Baby making 50 million. That's fucking crazy. And I, she showed receipts. That's cool. Like, apparently, I, I never thought about her like that because I've known her since she was super young. I never really thought that she would be somebody that people would be lining up to see a oh, nipple from. Oh, they were from. fucking waiting. They were waiting. And they probably didn't even see a nipple. That's the crazy part. My question is, though, is like, are there a lot of people who want to see either Crip Mac or Lupe fucking? What is the market like for that? I, I think I'm so. open to the probably. possibility that the market is almost nobody. Nobody? I mean, it would be viral. It would be wild. Yeah. But, I mean... I don't know. I don't think that there's that many people who really want to see I that. Pre- I'm pretty sure anybody that's seen the Channel 5, the thing of him is going to want to watch him on. If I was Crip Mac, I don't know why he thinks people want to see him fuck Lupe. I think he would be better <laughs> off fucking all these that's random ass that's thoughts that he fucks with and shit. Like, well, that's, that was the old C-Mac, okay? He's a changed man. The new man Crip now. Mac is going to settle down with Lupe? Yeah. Well, I think if Lupe wants to really be a down-ass bitch, then she ought to fucking let him bang some, some I think she sluts will. off fig. I think she will. I think she'll probably facilitate it. Probably. She's already doing that. She's driving him to fucking well, meet up. What, with, she's driving girls over to his crib. She's picking up girls in the IE that was and the bringing old, them back to 55th Street. That was the old... That's fire. That was the old Lupe. I think that they are in a holy union now. I haven't really been watching most of the videos of them talking about that. I just assume that it's like a joke skit thing. I kind of thought it was a joke too, but I don't know. It might be real. I feel like I know. I feel like it's a joke. You feel like you know? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's not a real thing. I they're not really. Dating. Yeah, they might they, they might just be trying to stir up some more. Uh, I was. I, that's what I assumed, right? Like st- stir up some more attention. Gina said she would co-host with Crip Mac if he had a podcast. Really? Yeah. Well, she's not scared of the smoke. 
She said she just realized what it says on his forehead. Well, how? I don't know. I'm like, how did you not notice that right away? I feel like that's the first it's thing like the that first- most people notice, even if they don't even know what Hoover is. I'm going to get Adam Killer. A-D-A-M-N? <laughs> <laughs> you would. <laughs> Adam Killer? You should do that for Halloween. That would be fire. Damn. Like we got any uh, Halloween plans? Nigga, that shit is far as fuck away. I'm bringing Beast Guys back. Lazy. I can't believe that's you not do. lazy. That's lazy as fuck. You do that on the red because you're just a furry. True. <laughs> yeah, you are, you maybe are a furry at this point. Wait, I did I did cut light year. I did beast cut. I need somebody new then. You just gonna you did keep, spider cut. Keep pimping out this crip one, thing, huh? What's a new or one? this crip thing? Did I say pimping out this pimp? You could be bat cut. What if I be a crypto coin? With a blue rag. Westside Boogie was super blood, and they let him go to elementary schools as super blood. <laughs> what? I know. Really? I talked to him about this on his interview, but this footage of him running around wearing this crazy red costume and his name is Super Blood. And there's a program that he started called More Black Superheroes. And he goes to the school and he's like, I'm Super Blood. And I was like, I'm surprised they let you do that at a high school or junior high or whatever. He was like, I was surprised too. I'm still surprised. Shout out to Spider Cub because he said he wanted to film. Hey, you heard me? You could be back, Cub. Nah, we don't fuck a Batman. You got a Batman tattoo. I'm getting it whacked out. What? Spider Cub. You should go to that same school where Boogie did the Super Blood thing and demand that they let you be Super Crip or Beast Cub. You got uh, You kind of got to be Super Crip. Beast Cub doesn't like you. Beast Cub already has his own like lane going though. You know, like it would be mm-hmm. good to get him some promotion. He has like a lot of pictures. I think it's funny that the Beast Cut account in the bio, it, under the location, <laughs> it says, the chili playa from the Himalayas. <laughs> and when I saw that, I immediately knew that it wasn't AD running the account. I am running the account. That is you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I OG thought, Suicide in the building. OG, OG Suicide, suicide was going building. on. He got some t-shirts for oh, us. Oh, yeah, we need some that. Some Suicide it. merch. Yeah, we got to slide them. Let's go. But yo, I, when I saw that, oh my god! I saw you right yeah. now. I saw you there. Look, look at this. Yeah. Thank you to the people at home. You're gonna see us fresh, dripping in this very fresh soon. Fresh off the press. Available now. So what's it? What's what's the website? Uh, no, tell them yourself in the camera. Oh, just tell. Well, we'll we'll put it on our stories. But OG suicide spelt like that. Yes. You can sir. find it on his Instagram. Legendary. Oh, shout out to OG man. But uh, you gonna tell OG what you've been doing? What, what you mean? What I've been doing? Hardcore narcotics. <laughs> what I've been doing? I'm like, what the fuck I've been doing? You been getting loaded. Not like that. He's Kurt Loader. Not like that. I would hey, be, you uh, thought I wasn't running the account? Because I thought when I saw Chili Player from the Himalayas, <laughs> I'm like, that's funny. And every time AD says, thinks something is funny, he will repeat it at least 800 times. That's a fact. So I was like, there's no way that he... Thought of Chili Player from the Himalayas and never Isn't said it to me in real life. That's it, like a, a like a saying though. Isn't, Isn't it? that from like a fucking sugar free song? Let me, let me or show something? you something. I just use it to troll you though. I just write on your page or a custard. Damn, Look. I didn't think it was you. Oh, he is Beast Cub. I got the page. I follow Beast Cub, man. Wait, With but two th- H's. this is just your Instagram. No, wait, hold on. What does that prove? No, look. Oh, Beast Cub. No, but it's not low. The service is bad. You're a custer. Yeah, y'all got, y'all got Boost Mobile over here. You're definitely a custer. Damn. You're trying to false claim Beast Cub? Damn. Damn, it's hard being you. Damn. Damn. That's whack. Damn. False claiming Beast Cub. Beast Cub doesn't like you. Fuck him. You switched up on him. He's a weirdo. <laughs> You're a hater, Adam. <laughs> Fuck the Himalayas. <laughs> you never heard that expression? A player from the Himalayas? Not really. That's crazy. I never heard you That's talk like about the, the Himalayas shit in the at book. all. I don't even know what the Himalayas is. Me either. It's a set of mountains somewhere. But that's like that's like a real saying. Like, especially on Martin. I'm a player from the Himalayas. You still watch Martin? Yeah, all the time. When I was trying to look up stuff about Gina Views, some Martin and Gina clips came up. For real? <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen Martin? <laughs> Probably not, huh? Yeah, back in the day. Classic. I don't know if I believe you. I ain't watched it in a long Martin, time. Martin, Wayne's Brothers, Jamie Foxx show, Steve Harvey show, all that shit. Yeah. No, those are good 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 times, but Bernie Mac show for show. I ain't uh I ain't I ain't watched Martin in many years. Martin is like top tier black sitcom, probably the best. You yeah. would watch uh, and his Living Single. 
Living single was great. Mm. What about in Living Color? Mm. You I can little, do what you want to do. I was, I was uh, too young for that when that color. came out. I mean, me too, but. Yeah. I mean, it was good stuff. Your parents should have kept you away from it. Why? That's where Jim Carrey came from. Protect you from. From in living oh, colors? colors, the woke <laughs> propaganda of living single. Living single was crazy. Living single helped to destroy the family bond. What did you used to watch? The Partridge Family. <laughs> I watched plenty of black comedies as well. What was your favorite? Family Matters. It's a great one. Legendary. Who'd you fuck with the most? The Urkel. I was an Urkel guy. I, I fuck with was... Stefan Urkel. Although I do think that that's when things had like officially gone too far. We went to Stefan. Yeah, when all well, of a sudden... Cool. They was having time machines. Yeah, he's and getting into a machine <laughs> yeah, and turning that. into Stefan Urkel. I'm like, okay, this has maybe gone too far. But, I mean, I, I remember liking that whole plot as a kid. I mean, I feel like the TV was just like... It was so new that everything was just cool to watch. That TV was new? No, I'm just talking about like... Yeah, like shows like that. Stuff. Like, it wouldn't fly right. now. Right. Yeah. But Did you watch I, the Cosby show? Loved it. Really? What the pudding? <laughs> <laughs> Did the whole rapist thing kind of fuck it up for oh, you? Or shit. You just try not to think about it. I mean, it? I was into I was really into that conspiracy thing that he tried to buy in NBC and they put that shit on him. Oh really? And it kind of makes it make sense because he they just let his ass out. So I'm like, maybe that is some truth to that. I don't recall this conspiracy theory. You never I, heard that? They say he tried to buy NBC. Yeah, that, they didn't want a black man to own NBC. So you think that they just like invented like 80 rap, rape accusers? I mean, look what they're trying to do to Elon Musk right now. Yeah, it's all type. They're of trying to cancel that nigga they too. Can put, they could put smut on your name. You know that he gave a, a girl a quarter million and a horse because I guess he showed her his penis. Allegedly, allegedly. That's what I'm saying. Mm. So you you don't think that they? I could don't know if I believe Elon do that shit just whipped to Bill out. Cosby. I don't know if I believe that Elon just whipped out on a bitch for no reason. That would be a pretty vast conspiracy to have that many girls making up the same thing about. So and he kind of like admitted it in some of his comedy no, stuff. He, no, he just said, the Spanish fly. He said all that, shit. I mean, at that time, everybody was doing those type of drugs. I don't doubt that it was pretty common in that era. But, but you can't you can't forcibly give somebody. Do love. you really think Bill was like this crazy rapist? I don't think so. Really? No. It, I mean, you're a science guy. You're a fucking you're a fucking uh, detective. Is, I'll is dig there deeper. Any, is there any evidence pointing to that? Or I'll is it dig just deeper. I'll, I'll do my, my Bill Cosby deep dive for you, so we can discuss it more like next yeah, time. Yeah, you should you should do a whole like Brian Pumper style video. But about, you're anti R. Kelly, aren't you? That nigga's sick. <laughs> What's See, the difference? Wait, they have yeah. video evidence of him doing yeah, shit. They that's got a fact. he's on Aaliyah's fucking album cover. AJ ain't nothing but a number yeah. in the corners, like. The Pied Piper. And he, and he, he named himself the Pied Piper. A nigga who, did, the who Pied fucking Piper. sing songs for kids and like, nah, that nigga's sick. I Fuck. remember being a little kid, being like 10 or like 11 or 12 or something, and Aaliyah came out with that album with that name, and it was obvious, and it's like the song is with R. Kelly and shit. And I remember being a young ass kid just thinking, like, damn, like, you're allowed to do that? Like, bro, anytime yeah. they can make two seasons of shit that you didn't did, <laughs> you bro, did that. Two. Four length seasons. Like who's gonna be the first to make Surviving AD though? N nobody. Surviving Adam, nigga. <laughs> the fuck you talking surviving about? Surviving House Phone. Hell no. Nah. Featuring Jesse Taylor. Surviving Adam Twenty Two. Mm, in, in your porn ring. Mm. <laughs> please don't ever bring that. Please. If Skybury becomes a meth head, then maybe she'll make it. Did I tell you? <laughs> they took me out of Target. I got something that's, I can't. Oh, about Jesse Taylor? Say it, say it, say it. Air it out. You've been kicking it with her? Hell no. Say it. That's your new little cook, buddy? No, bro. Say Re it. Relax, bro. No, I'm not doing it. Bro, this time no. you gotta say it. No. She went in on you. <laughs> uh uh. But, you no, haven't no. hung out with her since then? Nigga, no. Okay. She admitted that he he didn't try to fuck. Damn. She admitted that she made all that shit up. It's crazy that we wouldn't let her on the podcast back then, but now it's like we probably would like just let her pull up and be messy a little bit, get some get some I don't want some her messy views. How did you feel when she was like putting them allegations on you? I honestly, that was get, some wild shit. I wanted to get her knock off, knocked off. To be <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> who you who really who's your hitter? <laughs> who would you have sent on the mission? OG suicide. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you! Fuck. <laughs> well, now if anybody, if anything happens to her now, I'm I'm I'm, this, I'm the prime suspect now. Them shirts gonna sell off the rack. <laughs> Fuck, man. Yeah, no, that shit had me fucked up though, bro. Like, I feel like you should be catching a body for OG suicide, not the other way around. Facts. Yeah, actually, you're right. <laughs> okay. I got I I got to prove my. Um, he gave my you enough good talk so phone, you owe him a body. House phone would be like the perfect murderer though. 
What? Why? Yo, bro. Because you barely like, hey, moved. You're like, yo, I got this ketamine, man. It's the best shit on the market, man. And then you give them like some fentanyl. And you just go away. What? People be doing fentanyl on purpose. <laughs> yeah. That's man. crazy. Man. You're going to get 17 years like Mac Miller's deal. Yo, uh, the, his drug dealer got 17 <laughs> years. Bro, I can't believe that. But honestly, I think that he was purposely serving people fentanyl. That's why he got arrested. You ever, you ever buy work off that guy? Uh, what? I mean, he, he was a drug dealer in L.A. Well, Just some random ass guy. Yeah. I mean, I felt like you might have worked with all of them over the years. <laughs> Damn. You think I could do that, that much drugs? <laughs> you this know nigga. about a person? Yeah, right. Like, what I mean, Thomas. OGZ just so happened to be your former supplier. That's because oh, I was like around them. That's why. Now, that's right. amazing right there. Yeah. But remember the clip of fucking the dude who ended up getting the 17 years from Mac Miller that mm -hmm. there was that clip of him and Big Head was just in the shot and there was like oh, fucking paparazzi talking to him. That wasn't him. Yeah, I think. And Big Head's just in the clip. That was And that him. made me think like, holy shit, like if this guy's just kicking it with Big Head, he probably sold drugs. I mean, he's okay, selling drugs to makes Mac him, Miller. He probably sells drugs sense. to all kinds of people I know. I never like confirmed with anyone, but. Now that makes a lot more sense that you say that. Though. Imagine sitting in jail for 15 fucking, uh, 17 years for selling drugs. You killed like, a rapper. Everybody who sells drugs, rapper. like when you're selling drugs, when you're making the decision to roll around and sell fucking perks or, or coke or whatever, you're not thinking in your head that you're this is a possibility. Years, yeah. You're thinking that if you do get popped and they find all those drugs on you, you're going to do it, what, a couple years? A couple years, You maybe. have like a personal amount of drugs on you most of the time, right? I mean, the fact that he got 17 years is pretty fucking wild. When you were a junkie, how much did you spend? I don't know. When you were a junkie. It was mostly gifted from the fans. Really? That's fucking crazy. <laughs> you were lucky to be alive still. It's like stream elements, yeah. <laughs> they just give it to you. Yeah, they would come up to me at the shows. It's like a super chat. Here's a Zan. Here's a Zan. Yeah. All the fans coming up. To me. Here's a he Zan. Here's Zan. The day the day the store opened on Melrose, it was a guy. Uh, it was a, like a kid and his sister that was at the front of the line, and the the I'm pretty sure the guy gave me a Zan, and I was fucked up the whole day off that. And Zan. then you befriended Zan Princess. You guys have been cool ever since. That was like what it was like to be friends with House Phone at that time, though. If someone gave him a Zan, he would just take it, and then that would be like the story of the rest of the day. He'd just be taking a nap in the corner of the office. Like, really? I mean, you were wilding. You lucky, man. Yeah. I don't remember taking a nap. I probably was that fucked up. But I, I remember, remember a dude came up to me uh, that we actually had on the podcast at one point. House Phone might know what I'm talking about, but... Uh, right. He came up to me the first day that, well, not the first day, but like one of the first few weeks that the store was open, and he just hands me a little baggie, and I was looking at it, and it's like two grams of Coke, bunch of E-pills, bunch of big old fat green Zans, and he's just like, it's a party pack. Hit me up anytime you need some more. And I'm wow. just thinking in my head, like, what the fuck? This guy just gave me, Did like... Did you ever call him back? Hell yeah, yeah. I bought mad <laughs> drugs off that fool. I was hitting him up every time I would go out for a while. Fuck, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to say it, but... He dipped out, but... Yeah, yeah. Shout out to him, though. He at was... that time, if you wanted to connect with me, all you really had to do, if you DM me on Twitter, hey, I got some Zans, I'll be like, all right, uh, you coming short today? No. Damn. You ever did that for an interview? Before an interview? I said like, you ever did it like for an interview? interview? Do Man. an interview for some Zans? <laughs> like for some drugs. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. I'm not going to nah. lie. <laughs> what, about, what about some lean? Would you do it? Play back then? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Don't even lie. <laughs> Don't even lie. Yeah. You for sure would. Yeah. If it was a pint? Da, 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 da. No, a couple pints. Okay. Okay. But maybe, but yo, all right. Five, five pints. pints. If you five have pints, if you have five pints, I'll do the interview, <laughs> I'll, I'll do the interview just because you have five pints. Like that's interesting enough to me. Like, yo, so where'd you get these pints? <laughs> Nigga, I'm breaking in this office. And Why do you give interview? these pints to me instead of like a lot of other rappers who got more clout than me? Like, like, you know, we'll, we'll do an interview about the pints. We'll put the pints on the table. <laughs> talk about the pints. And are you taking them all? You've been wanting to do the lean cast for the longest. I know. Let's do it. I've been doing my own little lean cast on the couch at home sometimes. <laughs> you did the lean cast on your fucking birthday and we didn't even go out. Yeah, I did a little yeah, too much lean. Yeah, you were done. Bum, that was not good. You're a fucking bum. Why'd that you do bad. that? I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> your girl pulled out like five racks. She was ready to go crazy. At the strip club. We were about we had to a bunch to... of girls, bunch of homies we ready to go. We had a hella good ass dinner. I was catatonic off the drink. No, I'm not gonna lie. Done. I'm not gonna lie. It might have been just because we ate so much too. 
that didn't I, help. I have steak and then want to go out and do that. And just, yeah, know, that shit. Mixed out every day. I mean, in general, if you're getting up at like 6 or 7 in the morning and then it comes time to go out and it's like midnight and you're just leaving the house, I mean, it's pretty understandable that you're going to be really tired since nah, you have been up for 18 hours at this point. That's a fact. I'm going out Thursday and Friday. I got shit on my... Why? People, because people have been saying like, hey, you want to go do this? I'm just like, okay, let's do it. Let's live I love a little. that. I love that for you. Let's live a little. Let's leave the fucking house. When are you leaving though? Like, are you like, okay, <clears throat> it's 12 p.m. I mean, 12 a.m. It's not that kind. Of, it's like 8 p.m. shit. Okay. 8 p.m. shit. So that's I'm, good. I'll be out the house till like midnight. Oh yeah, yeah that's, that's good. good. But for me, that's not something I've done a lot of. But I'm saying your cutoff, like 2 a.m. is too too uh, too crazy. Oh, I mean, it would have to be so lit, good for me to stay out till 2 a.m. Yeah. Because the city right now, <coughs> the club scene is like dry. That's why I keep. Yeah, going. I'm not gonna lie. When I went, okay, well, when I went out with AD, I actually had hella fun, and I that haven't had I haven't had fun in the club in a long guy's time. But the so. the problem is with me is that if I was gonna stay up to two a.m., it would probably have to be for the content because I just am such a fucking one way track Bro, thinker at I'm this like, point. I'm like that now too. You know? Yeah. Like if we were getting dope content for a video until That's two a.m., I'll stay up till two a.m. Am I going to stay out till 2 a.m. to what? Like sit on the couch in the studio? No, because I'm literally going to fall asleep. So at some, some point, money off of the shit I'm now. just going to grab my phone and be like, all right, Uber, boom, I'm gone. You know, I'm not going to stay out in the. I'm, I don't party. I'm not like doing any drug that's going to make me stay more awake. Yeah, it'd probably make you sleepier, if anything. Hell yeah. Like if I'm out that late, chances are somebody's going to offer me some lean or something. So, I mean, if anything, that's bad for staying out, for my odds of staying Bro, out. Bro, it's crazy because I'm really like that now. Like every time I go somewhere, I'm like, should I make this content or not? I feel like I'm missing out if I don't. Really? Yeah. Hell yeah. You wouldn't go to the club? You gotta start taking advantage of all your friends. A day with OT Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, the club. The club. I went to the club with OT Genesis. Oh, I'm using you this week. Pause. Went to O Block with Adam 22. Wiz Khalifa beat me in games. Is Adam 22 from the Illuminati? Is Adam 22 from O Block now? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Does Adam 22 have a lean problem? Damn. Question mark, question mark, question mark. That's a good one. Mm. If anyone has any pints. <laughs> you serious, <laughs> <up>? <laughs> If you have interview. five, you get a free no interview. No re-rock pints, okay, guys? You can come hang out. <laughs> For five? Yeah. <laughs> What's the you cutoff? Five pints is like 15K. What about two? Shit. Shit. Let's <laughs> talk. <laughs> <laughs> You'll feel the lean cast with him? <laughs> Shit! If we just live stream and hanging out, no. But like you know how we got to be four pints. Not you know how open. we let Rugburn come on and like just give us the rugs and stuff. I mean, why can't we do that for the Lean Man? We could for sure do that. The Lean Man. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. Bring the sugar grape. But I don't want to be on yeah, camera know, like receiving drugs because. You know, uh, we do a lot of ignorant shit on here, but that feels like that might be a little over the line. Bring the sugar grape nigga. Well, look, I got a nigga that from was fire. I got it. The sugar grape nigga. Oh yeah. The stripper fun. grapes. It's Tripper Grapes. That was great. Uh, I got a nigga from Arizona that's going to bring me this Supreme Burberry collab that I've been trying to get forever. Okay. Hey, bring me one, too. You cannot bring him on camera. On that is not as important as Lean. On Disconnect? Oh, I don't care. You can do whatever you want on there. All right, there you go. That's all. That's all I was going to do. It is weird, though, because it's like you're on Disconnected, and it's like, what do you think of these shoes? And it's like, well... They look like five billion other pairs of dunks that I've seen in slightly different colorways. It's like, th like, would you cop? Would you not cop? It's kind of like, what? Like, I, I don't really know what the fuck to say because to me, it's like, yeah, they look okay. But it, like, if they don't look okay, then say that to you. It's just to me, no color of dunks would probably really be like offensive enough for me to have a strong negative reaction like, or a strong positive okay, reaction. Okay, I got some crazy. Okay, ones. what if it was like okay, because like like one of the most expensive pair of dunks from back in the day is like these Iron Maiden dunks. Okay. So like if it was like what if it was like an anal cunt like Nike SB or Ooh. something? I mean. I feel like that would be nostalgic. Like right? Yeah, but I like Anal Cunt, or at least I did until you guys told me to <laughs> search their songs. The first one at the end were in the title, which I don't remember from back in the day. Yeah, you I, did. I've tried to cut that back was your on talking one. about them <laughs> since then. <laughs> nigga, 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 I don't remember nigga, that nigga, song nigga. from back in the day. Yeah, I was not did. in on that joke. Adam, turn up. Go to your fucking room, Vanessa. Am. And. Go to your room, Vanessa Ann. Oh, is that why, she's, is that why Parker's Parker Ann? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's so, so cute. sweet. That's so cute. God, being a dad is the best. So Parker and Grand Mason? Yeah. Part no. Parker and Narcessian Grand Mason. Oh, Wait. Shit. What? I know. 
Damn. Anna Sessian? I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? She's going to be getting bullied That's at school like just Alante. for having a long My name. My girl stuck her fucking name in there. <laughs> and An- I just didn't really care enough Anna to like put up a Anna big fight. Anna Stephian? Nersessian. My girl's last name. Honestly, she could be an artist. It's like Gwen Stefani kind of. Anastasian. Parker <laughs> Ann Nersessian. No, her stage Grand name. Mason. Anastasian. That's such a long <sighs> ass name. We don't have to combine them. You Ann already... Nersessian. But it's like Alante. Grand Mason. His middle name is Christofferson. <laughs> Eliante Christofferson it's Douglas. Alante, not Eliante. Eliante, what? <laughs> Alante Christofferson Peterson. Why what do you think fuck? he's the jeweler? That's he has the same last name as, as, uh, uh, as Kiki. Kiki's Alfonso Peterson. Alfonso Kiki Peterson. And Alante is Alante Christofferson Peterson. Oh, Kiki is his middle name. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Kiki is his government? I thought Kiki was like. Kiki is his real middle name. Oh, wow. that's fire. I didn't Shout think anyone was ski. actually named Kiki. I thought that was always going to be a Shout nickname. Shout out the big ski. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of Yuri. I'm pr- <laughs> <laughs> Yuri, this nigga be hating on you. He says he said you're All paying right. me to shout you out every week. I'm proud of Yuri. I cannot afford your prices, probably. Yeah, exactly. Pause. Now you can. <laughs> you yeah, were selling yeah. dick. No. Well, that nigga Yuri, Yuri be on stream for like... I said, this nigga's still on here. He, he was on for like five days. Four in the morning. He, he's just sleeping. I'm like, this nigga. He's running it up. Sleeping. AD's not selling cheap dick anymore. I don't have to, man. Make Expensive money. dick. Yeah, I'm not selling it. Rico Strong said that if he was going to make a house call on the way home from the interview, he'd need 2500 For some dick? To go give some dick. That's what I'm saying. Well, I think he even said 1500 That's fire. That's fire. 2500 house call? I would for sure do that. You'd be doing that all the time if you I could? I would, yeah. If you had a girl who, who was lined up to do 2500 yeah. like, house joking? call? I need a three for one special. You're going to do yeah. it once a day? Nigga, I'll give her multiple times a day. Are you joking? You're going to start buying for pints? For 2500 Get all that money and you start buying pints? No. Pint a day? No, fuck no. Because then your dick's going to be terrible. She's not yeah, going to want to exactly. keep buying She's it. She's not going to want it anymore, yeah. Mm. Bro, 2500 for the house call? You doing that house call? I might, buy one, I might buy one pint, though. I read a lot of the comments on the Rico Strong interview, and I did not see anybody commenting on one of the things that I thought was the most eyebrow raising which was the idea that he had fucked 3000 girls by the time he got out of high school fuck? that's crazy that no. is an absurd how did you even have time to do that much fucking i mean when you do the math cuz he said he started fucking at 11 okay so then he's, he's but he also said that he was stripping at the right track when he was 15 i believe it that he had a fake id and he was think about how weird that is to he think was, of all those women just cheering and rubbing lotion on him throwing money at a 15 year old 15? boy Fuck. He probably was swole though and looked like a grown ass nigga. He was probably knocking them old bitches down. Yeah, too. he was probably fucking yeah, all of he them. He was showing me photos of him back in the day and he had his hair like Cisco. Like, like what? silver like, fucking hair and like crazy fucking ripped abs, like going crazy. I mean, yeah, he was probably I wouldn't if be, anyone could be fucking three thousand girls in high school, I guess it would probably be a motherfucker who looked like Cisco and had glistening. He said abs. he passed up ten thousand overall. That's fucking insane. That's ten thousand girls. People don't, people don't even believe me when I say like what I think is my number. What's yours? Know. Couple hundred? Yeah, a couple hundred. But like, I feel like that's even a lot. I'm at like a couple thousand. I was at three hundred or so when I stopped counting. Them junkies be fucking. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck hella meth heads. I, I'm not gonna lie. Keep it G. No. <laughs> did you fuck that 45 year old junkie? That, the, no. white, the, old white, the, the old white, the old white lady that you brought to my house that one time. The truth. He always say that. Did you I fuck, fuck this big 45? He always say that I fucked Keep this junkie. Keep it real. Keep it real. Keep because it real. I just couldn't believe it. Once he used to always come to my crib, and he would always be with just some random like chicks. No, they, you, they're cute or whatever. And then one time he comes to this, the crib, and he with like a forty five year old old white lady, and her she's all red in the face. She looked like a real did deal you do junkie. It, I did it. I did it. That you was when the I was like, oh shit, how's going on some different I shit? Got you the got the time. What? Got the top. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> She wasn't a junkie. She, she had like, a Benz, bro. Come here, old yeller in the Benz. <laughs> she had a Benz? Yeah, she wasn't a junkie. Well, that's nice, I guess. <laughs> she, she, she not a junkie because she got a Benz? Yeah, she had, <laughs> she had a drop-top Benz. <laughs> she paid for the hotel room. I like how that's your argument in favor of her not being a junkie. She had a Benz. <laughs> she had a Benz and she paid for the hotel room, so I feel like that's not a junkie. How was the top? It was all right. <laughs> I got it. I got it in the room with the other homie there. Who used to work? Well, he didn't work for no job. He just used to be around. Really? Yeah, he was there too. 
That's cool. Did he get top two? I think he like fucked her and like stayed <laughs> stayed with her and all types of shit. See, I'm the type of nigga like I'll realize that I'm doing some weird shit while I'm doing it and then I'll get the fuck on. See, at some point in my life, I kind of realized that I was fucking chicks, but I wasn't really like fucking them the way that yeah. I could have been fucking them. Like I had this like one, you could have been giving them better dick or what? Or like just okay. I, there was one girl that I fucked back in the day in Austin. Hot as shit, huge titties, really hot. Mm. I fucked her one time in my sleeping bag <laughs> for like two, three minutes. <laughs> Nutted on her back, went and got her some paper towels, wiped it off, went back to bed in the sleeping bag. She was gone when I woke up. Mm. I, then I she, didn't see no shower she in this story. Yeah, I showered <laughs> later that morning. I don't know what the fuck she did. But then I had a homie who worked security at this club, right? Mm -hmm. And she texted me one day, and she's just like, I'm at this club, and I see your, your friend or whatever. And I'm like, hey, do me a favor and fuck him. And she just goes, okay. And so she, and she did. And when I talked to him I about it like a week her. later, he's like, oh, yeah, man. She was so hot. I had her doing coke and walking around naked in my house for like two, three days straight. And I was like, damn. You're like, I didn't do that right. You had a lot more fun with her than I did. I gave her two minutes in the sleeping bag. In the sleeping bag. You're grinding. But she was hot enough that, you know, you might want to do a little three-day drug binge with her. I respect uh, that. Nah. You don't do that? I'm past that point. I mean, now. I'm past that too, but if I was still I at that, that time in my days. life. No. One <laughs> night. One night and I'm out of there. I respect it. See, man. that's the thing is like, man, like, bitches be thinking you in love with them when you do that. And they be, they be like... They be all too attached and shit. And then you got to be like, bitch, I got shit to do. I can't you ever have do like a Zan like vacation with a girl? Because <laughs> I had that where a girl a, a girl came to my crib in Long Beach with like a bag of Zan. She's from Ireland. You and told like, the story. Yeah, and we just did Zan for like a week straight. Bad Adam. It's Fuck very you. bad podcast. It's bad because you're pointing it out. <laughs> but like, you ever do that? <laughs> yes. You know. Yeah, I you know do. you do. That's when you're not showing up for the podcast. That's what I'm assuming you're really? doing. Really? That's yeah. what you think I'm doing? I think you're in a Zan coma. What do you mean doing that your phone is like, you know. What yeah, you and, but we know where you are because Blasi has your location on. <laughs> where is he at? I'll just be at the crib. We'll know where he's at. He's usually at the crib. But Blasi's able to tell us because he has your location on like you're a fucking bad kid. I like to think House Phone is just like practicing dance. He's probably out doing some wild shit, leaving his phone at home yeah. to fool Blasi. Like you, you think like I'm a, leaving you leave a SIM card at home? My phone like you, at like home just to secret, avoid you? You getting secret ballet lessons. No, I'd be like asleep, bro. <laughs> I'd be asleep and like recovering. What's the longest you ever slept? Like, 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 eight, like 18 hours probably. Fuck no. I swear to God. When you wake up from a fucking Xan night or yeah. a crazy drug night in I, general. I woke up like the like it was like I went to sleep. a whole day off. I went to sleep at night. I went to sleep at nighttime, at like one night, and I I slept through the night, through the morning, into the next night. That's ridiculous. Welcome to it's drugs. It's called drugs. <laughs> <laughs> he said he would drink lean with us if we uh, get tattoos. I lied. Should I aired you out? Is that too much? I wouldn't. Your girl's sitting you. over there. <laughs> I don't want you to turn into Drewski. You're not going to drink lean. <laughs> AD with a lean cup is going to be like Drewski. Yeah, literally. <laughs> oh, my God. And blonde hair. You need blonde hair, you know, too. Donnie gave me a better idea. What? I could get anesthesia and just let them work on me and don't feel anything. What do you mean? I feel like being said. knocked out is kind of like not good for you, right? They say you ain't supposed to drink and get tattoos. You're not. I used to do it. They just tell you that it makes because you they more, don't want it? a bunch of drunk fucks coming into the oh, tattoo really? parlor being assholes. I got drunk for like every tattoo I ever got. Me too. Almost all of them. Or pop pills. Or did both. I ain't do all that. Yeah. Uh, you can't do like a upper like coke or something that would be fucking stupid no but my, my tattoo artist at one point told me that the best drug to do when you get tattooed is, is molly or ecstasy why because it probably feel good think about fucking how you feel when you're in ecstasy you're just like digging your fucking hand into the other person's leg and shit like things that hurt it would feel kind of good when you're on ecstasy oh it, no i just grip my teeth a lot it would have to be like some extended release That's why you had to get some fake ones <laughs> It would have to be like extended release Molly or something to where like Molly is extended release. That should be hitting for like six hours. I don't know what kind of hard ass Molly you was on. Ain't nobody telling you that you can't continue to boot up throughout the tattoo, bro. Uh, Y'all was sniffing so. your mollies? Nah, hell no. Nah. Sure. That shit fucks your nose up. Boot it up. up. Bit, bit, boot it up. Rack it up. You gotta eat it. We gotta do ecstasy on the podcast. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> you go try to fuck house phone. Yeah. Whoa, we gotta, whoa, get whoa, <laughs> yes. gotta get a testing kit though. Yes. You gotta get a testing kit. You make sure it's real first. Yeah. Would you do that who, for real? Who's going to call your it? best connect? Okay. Hell no. I'm going to get fired as a boss if we do this. How are you going to fire, fire yourself? yourself? <laughs> okay, I'm going to get in a lot of trouble. <laughs> With By the who? law. 
They're gonna be like, he did it. He did drugs on camera with okay, his employees. Okay, we don't. Okay, we don't have to do it on camera, but we could do I it. I see off. nothing. We could do it off camera. How's fun? We're trying to keep you off drugs, and it's not working. <laughs> I know. Why are you inviting this? And he's, he, I, I don't want to encourage you he's anymore. Happy. He's like, let's do it. Yeah. Tomorrow. Let's go. <laughs> Tonight. I was ready to go. I'm like, I'll call him right now. Yuri, set it up. Yuri, I would not trust Yuri's connect. I am anything. so proud of Yuri. Very proud of him. <laughs> now Yuri's pissed because he's like, damn, it's a tick now. They can't say it anymore. He paid for 10 shout outs. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. I was trying to get Podlor's wife up, to bring man. some chicken. Did you see You're that? not proud of him? No. Do you see? It? No, I am. But did you see the clip of Lenny and shit? Who's yeah. Lenny? Her, Lena. Oh, yeah, Lenny. What was that about? She just fell randomly, walking around at her at her little house, and just fucking tripped and ate shit. And the ring camera caught it all. I love that you thought that that was so worthy enough to just throw it up it's on viral. The you said, "Was she mad?" Porn star falls. Say, the, my wife fell. The real got like. 1.5 million views. She what got a lot of followers. Fuck? And got her Instagram deleted from it. Wow. <laughs> even though she didn't even post anything. Damn. It's just grimy. They're hating, bro. It awesome. must be people just just uh reporting her. Hell yeah, of course. But what the fuck? For what? Hey. What are they so mad about? Hey. Are they mad because she's like fucking Armenian or I something? Mean, all the girls get it. Yeah, but not like her, I feel like. Let's not talk about it too much. Yeah. So she has the little the mom one now again? She been at that. Mm. I'm still trying to get I'm barely at like 20k again. But I, I guess feel like you're on game. Why do they keep getting job? you? You keep saying keep. It was only one time. No. I only had one Instagram. Property of house phone. I just changed the name. Oh. Oh. Really? Yeah. Why'd you change it? That was a good name. Because it was too long. And oh, stupid. I thought you got deleted on. Wait, maybe that I one. did. And then I had to refollow you. Yes, I remember well, I'm when you got deleted. I'm trying you to got deleted at least two times. Yeah, maybe you're right, actually. Nobody can compare with Velo. He's on like his fifth account. Uh, yeah, I know, huh? The bum hunter. <laughs> that needs to be his new one. He should bring back that uh, that VHS series, bum, bum Fights. We heard they got sued. Really? Yeah. And when they got up, they got the beard. And that's why they went away. Uh, I mean, it was kind of fucked up. I mean, if, if you, you tie somebody to a pole and put, wait, you know, what the coping, fuck? That's what they did one time. What? They tied one of their legs to the pole and they had the crack like right out of reach and it's just like, Aah. that's fucked up. I used to watch yeah. all of them. <laughs> that's fucked up. That's hell. You could not do that in 2022. <laughs> they made a nigga eat a frog. Not on YouTube, at least. I ate a frog live, frog. though. Okay, never mind. But they do have like backyard boxing channels on YouTube I love that those. seem like they're doing fine. I love those. But that's so not as, as cool. But they'll make like a fake octagon bro, and all that. You got to do it by the, like the side of the riverbed. They had a MTV Cribs, the bum edition. That was the best shit ever I seen. And they showed their abodes off. They had the gold. The nigga had a gold basket. It was amazing. Shut the fuck I up. Swear, bro. Wow. No, I think um, I think the those fake octagon fights are fucking so good. Fake octagon? Like they just like build a like a, a fake cage like on some fucking dirt and grass. I saw the most insane clip today. I think I sent it to the group chat, which means you didn't see it on phone. But it was like, <laughs> it's like a guy somehow like crashed his car downtown. Crazy. And all these bums are running up and taking all of his shit out of his car while <laughs> he's there. And he tries to make this crazy getaway and just smashes into another fucking car. So all the bums take the guy out of the front seat and he's driving like a nice ass car, like fucking bright red. I don't know what it was, but and they fucking drag him out of the car and just kick his head in and beat the shit out of him. Bro, do not go downtown. Unless you got Vel with you. Yeah. Even Vel could not have stopped Vel, this the ass bum bounty hunter. Vel had ran up in the I'm middle of that. I'm that would have been so good. Bro, shit is crazy as no, fuck in LA. Speaking about crazy shit, the fucking shooting did you hear about the elementary school? Dude, 18 kids. They all died? 18 kids dead. Uh, a couple teachers and the shooter. That shit is crazy. It's like at least 21 they people said, total. They said he killed his grandma before yeah, he, he even went Yeah, he killed his grandma school. before. The fuck is wrong with people, man? Damn, Insane. bro. So sad. I, I, I still don't, haven't bro, seen that like, shit, one. That one was yesterday. That shit he was an illegal me, immigrant, I heard. I don't... <sighs> Which is pretty... I'm just saying. Pretty yeah. crazy. Yeah, just, I don't know about that one. I don't even know if it's true. But, yeah. but he's from fucking Ecuador or some shit. Bro, that shit makes me like not want my kids to be in a fucking school, bro. And get <sighs> homeschooled. That's crazy, bro. What? The, that's a lot of fucking a Elementary kids. school. Like, that's the biggest one since Stony Brook. God damn. But it was, well, how old was the guy, though? He was 18. 
He was 18, right? Same same age as that Buffalo shooter. Jesus Christ. Scary. Elementary These niggas just trying to one-up each other out here? Like, what are they doing? I mean, it's all for different reasons because the Buffalo one was like a fucking wannabe white supremacist fucking 4chan weirdo, like reading 4chan. all this shit online. And then this one, we don't know like the motivation yet, but I mean, he's from fucking Ecuador, assuming he's not a white supremacist. So. Yeah, hopefully. That would be weird. That would be that would be a fucking weird turn of events. We'll learn more. Hopefully, it was never in the no jumper chat. What? <laughs> Why? Wow. That shit's sad, man. I was like, fuck. I mean, okay. Crazy world we live in. Do you remember the New Zealand shooter who killed, I think, fifty people? Before yeah, so he many. did it, he and he was on live. He said, "Subscribe to PewDiePie." Right before he started killing all these people. That's some scary shit. So all of a sudden you have PewDiePie, who's just a fucking He wasn't YouTuber. doing anything. Yeah. And this guy decided, because at the, at the time, the subscribe to PewDiePie thing was a big meme. And it was just like. That's you know, fucked up, PewDiePie bro. had to like put out a statement about it and shit, even like though I'm obviously not affiliated. it's not something he did or something he could have controlled. But I mean, it's That's pretty fucking fucked up, bro. insane to like have somebody say that before doing that, you know? Crazy world we live in, man. Crazy world, bro. That's fucking scary as fuck. Super Jesus scary, bro. Christ. Mm. And imagine somebody was just killed a bunch of kids and then was like, fucking follow the community. <laughs> like, what the? Don't fuck? put that on a community. I bro. know, but I'm just saying, on, like, that's so weird. Why would Come somebody on, do bro. that, Come bro? On, the community night. has a very, very strict oh, no man. school shooting policy. Okay, all right. All right. AD I'm has sorry. made that, that perfectly one, clear. Now one, nah, bro. Nah, 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 nah. He even got a new camera. Bro, that shit is too clear. I can see your moles. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I can come on your stream until you get a shittier camera. I say, I say, I say, what kind of cameras no jumper got? Upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm building a new no jumper in the basement of my penis house. <laughs> the basement. You want to start a podcast? The penis house. You want to start a, the no, the, the no, new no jumper <laughs> in the basement of the penis house. I think, that nigga Rafi started starting his own shit. I have a new name for your fans. It's the the penis lovers. <laughs> nah, don't do us like no? that. What the fuck? No. Nah. So whenever you hear me saying, "Hey, shout out all my penis lovers," the community that's people me shouting will, out the community. Beat your ass, you see him. <laughs> yeah, the penis can't. lovers, you mean? No, they're oh. not those. <laughs> but they bang the penis house. They don't. Nobody knows. What they, the, they they go hard for penis house. <laughs> They don't know. Follow like, community clips, man. We almost thirty k subscribers. Shout out to all the penis lovers in the We're chat. We're almost thirty k yeah. subscribers. You know what I'm saying? We're going hard. Thirty thousand penis lovers. That's pretty amazing. Bro, <laughs> stop talking about my community. <laughs> shout out to the penis lovers. Shout out all the No Jumper fans for watching this tonight. Shout out to stupid Adam Twenty Two <laughs> vlog watchers. <laughs> Go watch some Adam Twenty Two vlogs. I just dropped a new one today. We got more dropping soon. I've been enjoying it. Thank you. We yeah, going honestly, hard. yeah. You I honestly think, though, uh, you should change the quality, though. Why? Because your camera can do it. My camera doesn't look good? This is cool. You could, you could make the 4K content. I'll give it to the film department, a.k.a. Trev. Yeah. Bro, you just when you do the, the vlogs, it changes it to 4K. I think it is. No, it's not. Because when you upload it, the resolution is down. I want my homie to succeed, man. I will talk to the film department. Yeah. We'll see what they have to say. Bro, I was, I was with the homie the other day, and he had just like released his music video, and he's like pretty big. Bro, his fucking nigga, like his video nigga, didn't put the shit in 4K. And he was mad as fuck, bro. He was calling his nigga, cussing him out. That's a big deal right now. Yeah, bro, bro. His video was out for like, I think only like 24 hours, and it had like a million. It had a million streams on Spotify already. I like a nice 720p experience. Fuck no, that's some old man shit. <laughs> Feels good. But that's why I like I've been shooting these uh, VHS music videos because you can fucking upload them whatever and they're gonna look it's gonna look cool still. And it makes you feel like a better rapper when you can like pretend that this was like recorded in 1995. <laughs> like, I'm way better than them. Yeah, I'm better than Tupac. That's how I feel. You think if you were rapping in 1995 that you would be able to like be bigger than Tupac? Because you like if you went back in time, not that drug shit. <laughs> they weren't going for that. They wouldn't have been into the ketamine. What's up? You could have introduced. You would have been so revolutionary rapping about doing coke back then. Nah, yeah. they're like, get this junkie out of here, the studio. White lines go away. <laughs> White lines. Oh, fucking. If you was a rapper back then, what would you be making songs about? Coke, about for fucking sure. Meth. It's a pumpernickel in my shoe. Shit like that. No. 
Not even close. About smoking meth. Shout out all the penis lovers. Smoking Shout out the meth. rope gang. Shout out the meth heads. Yelling at Ann. Shout out Ann. <laughs> Yelling at Ann. Shout out to you having to go get Phil his fucking glasses back. <laughs> yeah, facts. Snitch. Um, bitch. Ho. Maybe we'll have some topics go. next week. I know. We had no topics. Huh? We haven't had topics in a while. I love it. I kind of like minimal it, yeah. topics. I kind of like it, honestly. Go away. I didn't even write anything down. <laughs>